Do you feel like you don't speak enough English? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in English. Hi everybody, my name is Alicia. Welcome to the 800 Core English Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in English. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at EnglishClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master English. Okay, let's get started. First is mustache. 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 A mustache is a facial hairstyle, so many men like to wear a mustache. That refers to hair on the top lip. Your mustache looks good. Your mustache looks good. Your mustache looks good. Washing machine. Washing machine. Washing machine. A washing machine is a machine we use to wash something, but specifically a washing machine is used to wash our clothes. I use the washing machine to keep my clothes clean. I use the washing machine to keep my clothes clean. I use the washing machine to keep my clothes clean. DVD player. DVD player. DVD player. A DVD player is a machine you can use to play DVD movies. A long time ago, we had a DVD player machine in our house near the TV, but now we typically use computers with DVD player options. The DVD player is a device that can play DVDs. The DVD player is a device that can play DVDs. The DVD player is a device that can play DVDs. Fan. 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 A fan is some kind of machine that blows air. You might also see fan used to talk about an object that we use, we wave in front of our face to blow air. We use the same word for both of these. It's too hot, can we turn on the fan? It's too hot. Can we turn on the fan? It's too hot. Can we turn on the fan? Air conditioner. Air conditioner. Air conditioner. An air conditioner is a machine that creates cold air, so this is different from a fan. Air conditioner is quite long, so we usually just say AC. On a hot summer day, the air conditioner works all day to keep us cool. On a hot summer day, the air conditioner works all day to keep us cool. On a hot summer day, the air conditioner works all day to keep us cool. Stove. 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 A stove is something you find in the kitchen. There are parts on the stove that you can set a pot or a kettle on and the object will become warm. You might have a gas stove or a fire stove or an electric stove in your home. The kettle is on the stove. The kettle is on the stove. The kettle is on the stove. Elementary school. Elementary school. Elementary school. Elementary school is the first step in formal education. Kids in the USA start attending elementary school at around four or five years of age. When is she going to elementary school? When is she going to elementary school? 
When is she going to elementary school? Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school is the next step in education after elementary school. You might also hear middle school called junior high school. My 12-year-old brother goes to middle school. My 12-year-old brother goes to middle school. My 12-year-old brother goes to middle school. High school. High school. High school. After elementary school and middle school comes high school. High school in the USA is four years long. High school was the best time of my life. High school was the best time of my life. High school was the best time of my life. University. 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 University is education students can attend after high school. It's not required. University and college are often used in the same way, interchangeably. The difference is that a university offers courses after a four-year course of study. A college offers just four years, an undergraduate degree. She's a university student. She's a university student. She is a university student. Principal. 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 A principal is like the leader of a school. We use principal for elementary school, middle school, and high school. We do not use this for university. Also, please note the spelling of this word. Principal, when used to talk about the top position at a school, is spelled in this way. My grandfather used to be a principal. My grandfather used to be a principal. My grandfather used to be a principal. Bright. 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 Bright has a couple different uses. We can use bright to refer to something that has a lot of light, and we can use it to talk about someone who is very smart and learns things easily. Now let's focus on the meaning of something that has a lot of light. My room is very bright. My room is very bright. My room is very bright. Laptop computer. Laptop computer. Laptop computer. A laptop computer is a computer that we can take with us. So we usually think of this as something that is mobile and portable, and if you want to, you can use it on top of your lap, on top of your legs. We typically just say laptop instead of laptop computer. I bought a new laptop computer. I bought a new laptop computer. I bought a new laptop computer. Mouse. 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 A mouse is computer machinery. Yes, there is an animal called a mouse, but we use this word to talk about the device we use to navigate, to move the arrow or to click around on our computer. A wireless mouse is very convenient. A wireless mouse is very convenient. A wireless mouse is very convenient. Speaker. 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 A speaker is something that produces sound. It's a machine. We can have a small speaker on our computer or our mobile phone, or we can have a large speaker like you might find at a concert hall. This factory manufactures speakers. This factory manufactures speakers. This factory manufactures speakers. Webcam. 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 A webcam is a camera that is connected to your computer that allows you to do video calls or video conferences. My webcam is not working. My webcam is not working. My webcam is not working. Microphone. 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 
A microphone is a small machine that we use to pick up sound clearly. I'm wearing a microphone for today's video. We typically say mic because microphone is a long word. My computer has an internal microphone. My computer has an internal microphone. My computer has an internal microphone. Desktop computer. Desktop computer. Desktop computer. A desktop computer is like the opposite of a laptop computer. We typically don't move our desktop computer according to the location we are working in that day. Rather, you can imagine desktop referring to a computer you use on top of your desk. We typically just say desktop though, not desktop computer. I have two computers, a laptop computer and a desktop computer. I have two computers, a laptop computer and a desktop computer. I have two computers, a laptop computer and a desktop computer. Chili pepper. Chili pepper. Chili pepper. A chili pepper is a type of pepper that is very spicy or it's very hot. So you might hear people just say chili to refer to these. I don't like chili peppers. I don't like chili peppers. I don't like chili peppers. Corn. 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 Corn is a very common food. It's usually bright yellow in color. And depending on the place where you're in, you might eat it with butter, you might eat it with different seasonings, you might eat it on the cob, which is the original shape the corn comes in. You might also have the corn off the cob too. I like steamed corn. I like steamed corn. I like steamed corn. Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Bye! Break 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 so to break something means to cause it not to function or for example when you break an object it means you crush it or you destroy it in some way so you can't use it anymore i broke one of my plates while washing the dishes i broke one of my plates while washing the dishes i broke one of my plates while washing the dishes. Cut. 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 Cut can be used as a noun and as a verb. We can use it to mean to separate two parts of something, with a knife usually, and we can use it to talk about an injury that we receive from something sharp. The boy fell and has a deep cut on his leg. The boy fell and has a deep cut on his leg. The boy fell and has a deep cut on his leg. Sprain. 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 Sprain is used as a noun and as a verb. As a noun, a sprain refers to a type of muscle injury. If you stretch or tear a small part of the muscle, you get a sprain. As a verb, to sprain refers to causing this type of injury. The athlete sprained his ankle. The athlete sprained his ankle. The athlete sprained his ankle. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. A microwave oven is also called a microwave. It's a box that we use to heat up food quickly. The most convenient kitchen appliance is the microwave oven. The most convenient kitchen appliance is the microwave oven. 
The most convenient kitchen appliance is the microwave oven. Refrigerator. 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 A refrigerator is like a very large cold box that we use to store foods and drinks. Refrigerator is a very, very long word, so we usually say fridge. The refrigerator is full of food for the holiday. The refrigerator is full of food for the holiday. The refrigerator is full of food for the holiday. Vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. A vacuum cleaner is a machine we use to clean our floors. We usually use vacuum cleaners to clean carpets. So a vacuum cleaner is typically very, very noisy and we push it to clean our house. This vacuum cleaner is very quiet. This vacuum cleaner is very quiet. This vacuum cleaner is very quiet. Sweat. 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 Sweat is both a noun and a verb. Sweat, as a noun, is the liquid that comes out of your body when you feel very hot, like when you exercise or when the temperature is hot. To sweat means for your body to go through the process of creating sweat. The athletes were covered in sweat after the game. The athletes were covered in sweat after the game. The athletes were covered in sweat after the game. Check in. Check in. Check in. Check in is a very common phrasal verb. We use it at hotels and at the airport to mean you announce your arrival to a person who works there. It's like you are showing up for your reservation. I'll check in at 10 p.m. I'll check in at 10 p.m. I'll check in at 10 p.m. Room number. Room number. Room number. A room number is a number assigned to a room where you live or in a hotel room where you're staying. Your room number is 514. Your room number is 514. Your room number is 514. Room key. Room key. Room key. Room key is the word we use specifically for a key you receive for your hotel room. We do not use room key to talk about the key to your house or apartment. This expression is for hotels only. Don't lose your room key. Don't lose your room key. Don't lose your room key. Wake up call. Wake up call. Wake up call. A wake up call is a phone call that you can arrange for at a hotel. You can ask the front desk to call you at a specific time and wake you up. Hi, I'd like a wake up call at 15 minutes to six in the morning. Hi, I'd like a wake up call at 15 minutes to six in the morning. Hi, I'd like a wake up call at 15 minutes to six in the morning. Check out, check out, check out. When you check out of a location, usually a hotel or perhaps also a supermarket, it means you finish your stay or you finish your transaction. Please check out before 10 a.m. Please check out before 10 a.m. Please check out before 10 a.m. Light, light, light. Light can be used as a noun, as an adjective, and as a verb, actually. In this case, we want to focus on light for use in terms of colors and in terms of visuals. So light, in this case, refers to the opposite of dark. Light colors really suit you well. 
light colors really suit you well. Light colors really suit you well. Gold. 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 Gold is a material and it's also a color. It is a bright and shiny and very valuable material. And when we see it in colors too, it has the same kind of feeling, this kind of luxurious and expensive look. She wears gold eyeshadow. She wears gold eyeshadow. She wears gold eyeshadow. Pink. 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 Pink is a very popular color. Pink in the US is commonly associated with girls. People think of pink as a girl's color, but historically, pink was used for boys and blue was used for girls. It just slowly became the reverse over time. The towel was pink. The towel was pink. The towel was pink. Silver. 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 Like gold, silver is both a color and a material. So silver is quite shiny, but it has a colder color than gold. It can also be very valuable and people like to make jewelry out of silver, just like gold. I think silver looks better on you. I think silver looks better on you. I think silver looks better on you. Beige. 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 Beige is a neutral color. Beige is like tan, but it's a little bit light. Beige is a pale cream color with a yellowish tint. Beige is a pale cream color with a yellowish tint. Beige is a pale cream color with a yellowish tint. Raspberry. 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 A raspberry is a fruit. They are rather small and they can be quite tart. So tart means a little bit sour and a little bit sweet. They have kind of a surprising taste. I'm simply a huge fan of raspberries. I'm simply a huge fan of raspberries. I'm simply a huge fan of raspberries. Cough. 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 Cough is a noun and a verb. As a noun, it refers to a bad health condition. As a verb, to cough means to force the air out of your lungs, usually to try to remove something. She's been coughing all night. She's been coughing all night. She has been coughing all night. Garlic. 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 Garlic is a very popular ingredient in food. It can be used in soups and pizzas and sauces. So many different foods and so many different cuisines around the world love to use garlic. It has a very strong smell and a very strong taste. So you might smell like garlic even after you eat it. Cheese and garlic are always good on pizza. Cheese and garlic are always good on pizza. Cheese and garlic are always good on pizza. Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description to sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com and get access to the full list of vocabulary you'll need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Bye. Now, if you're wondering how to remember these words forever so that you can start speaking more and more, here's how. One, review them with our spaced repetition flashcards. Our flashcards will drill these words into your long-term memory. Two, save the words to our word bank, your personal collection of words, where you can print out physical study sheets. And three, watch our looped vocabulary slideshows on repeat until you understand every word. You'll find these tools inside our learning program. Just click the link in the description to get them. Flood. Flood. 
flood. A flood is a type of natural disaster. A flood happens when there's water on the streets, too much water. So, so much water, for example, it's hard to walk or cars get covered. This can happen because a lot of rain causes river levels to rise or because of some other issue relating to water not draining in a town. The flood destroyed the town. The flood destroyed the town. The flood destroyed the town. Typhoon. 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 A typhoon is a weather pattern that is a natural disaster. So a typhoon is different from a hurricane because a typhoon happens in the Pacific Ocean. A hurricane happens in the Atlantic Ocean. A typhoon is like a giant tower of water and wind. It spins very fast. There are very strong wind speeds and it's very dangerous to go outside. The typhoon is hit. The typhoon is hit. The typhoon has hit. Hurricane. 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 So we just talked about typhoon. Again, a hurricane is just like a typhoon, but it happens in the Atlantic Ocean, so in a different part of the world. Again, just like a typhoon, a hurricane creates a very, very tall tower of water and wind, maybe even lightning and thunder too, and it can be very, very dangerous to go near them. A hurricane has formed over the ocean. A hurricane has formed over the ocean. A hurricane has formed over the ocean. Tornado. 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 A tornado is similar to typhoons and hurricanes. However, a tornado happens on land. A tornado is a tower of wind and sand and dust and sometimes other objects. They whirl together, they spin together very, very fast and can be very, very dangerous weather patterns. The tornado is twisting across the prairie. The tornado is twisting across the prairie. The tornado is twisting across the prairie. Drought. 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 A drought is a condition that happens because of not enough rain in an area. So droughts, when they extend for a long period of time, can become disaster situations because farmers aren't able to grow food because there's not enough water. Drought is a real trouble for farmers. Drought is a real trouble for farmers. Drought is a real trouble for farmers. Islam. 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 Islam is one of the most followed religions of the world. Followers of the religion of Islam are called Muslims. The Islam faith was founded by the Prophet Muhammad. The Islam faith was founded by the Prophet Muhammad. The Islam faith was founded by the Prophet Muhammad. Protestantism. 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 Protestantism is a part of Christianity. It's like a type of Christianity. It came from Europe to the United States. It was considered a very conservative branch or a very conservative type of Christianity. Protestantism came as a break from the Roman Catholic Church. Protestantism came as a break from the Roman Catholic Church. Protestantism came as a break from the Roman Catholic Church. Catholicism. 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 Catholicism is a branch of Christianity or a type of Christianity. The leader of Catholicism is the Pope. 
Catholicism is the religion of those who accept the leadership of the Pope. Catholicism is the religion of those who accept the leadership of the Pope. Catholicism is the religion of those who accept the leadership of the Pope. Hinduism. 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 Hinduism is a very widely followed religion originally from India. Hinduism from India involves the belief in reincarnation and many gods. Hinduism from India involves the belief of reincarnation and many gods. Hinduism from India involves the belief in reincarnation and many gods. Buddhism. 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 Buddhism is a very well-known and very widely practiced religion and philosophy that is spread throughout Asia and now the rest of the world, too. Buddhism is based on the teachings of the Buddha, the Enlightened One. Buddhism is based on the teachings of the Buddha, the Enlightened One. Buddhism is based on the teachings of the Buddha, the Enlightened One. Ankle. 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 An ankle is a part of the body. You have an ankle at the place where your foot meets your leg. That part between the two is called your ankle. The athlete sprained his ankle. The athlete sprained his ankle. The athlete sprained his ankle. Elbow. Elbow. L bow. An elbow is another body part. Your elbow is the part of your body where your forearm meets your upper arm. This part of the body is the elbow. The arm only bends one way at the elbow. The arm only bends one way at the elbow. The arm only bends one way at the elbow. Wrist. 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 Your wrist is the part of your body where your hand meets your arm. This part of the body here is called your wrist. The most common places to take a pulse are the neck and wrist. The most common places to take a pulse are the neck and wrist. The most common places to take a pulse are the neck and wrist. Knee, knee, knee. Your knee is the part of your body that connects your lower leg to your upper leg. So you can touch it and tap on it. It feels quite hard. Keep in mind, yes, this word begins with a K in spelling, but the pronunciation is knee. The boy fell and scraped his knees. The boy fell and scraped his knees. The boy fell and scraped his knees. Skin. 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 Your skin refers to the outer part of your body. All of this is called your skin. These connected tissues all across your body, we refer to this as your skin. My skin is very delicate. My skin is very delicate. My skin is very delicate. Shave. 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 Shave is a verb. It means to remove hair with a sharp object. So many people, men usually, shave their faces. Or we can shave other parts of the body too. We can shave arms, legs, and so on. He didn't shave for several weeks. He didn't shave for several weeks. He didn't shave for several weeks. Chef. 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 
A chef is someone who prepares food professionally. The difference between a chef and a cook is that a chef has had special training. So they work in a restaurant or they work in a hotel, creating food, creating menus, and so on. A cook, while they may have excellent food preparation skills, doesn't have the same type of training as a chef. The chef is making a meal. The chef is making a meal. The chef is making a meal. Non-smoking. 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 We use non-smoking as an adjective. We usually use non-smoking before a location, like a non-smoking room or a non-smoking restaurant. It refers to a place where smoking is not allowed. Could you find me a non-smoking room? Could you find me a non-smoking room? Could you find me a non-smoking room? Smoking. 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 So smoking refers to the act of smoking a cigarette or something else, but smoking can also be used as an adjective as with non-smoking. For example, a smoking room or a smoking section in a restaurant. So pay attention to the situations in which you see this word used to understand what part of speech the word is taking. There is a separate patio for smoking attached to the restaurant. There is a separate patio for smoking attached to the restaurant. There is a separate patio for smoking attached to the restaurant. Blood. 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 Blood is the red liquid that comes from our bodies when we get injured. Before it comes out of our bodies, it is blue. We can see it inside our bodies. We can see it in our skin. But when it comes out of the body, it becomes red. He cannot bear to see blood. He cannot bear to see blood. He cannot bear to see blood. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description to sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com and get access to the full list of vocabulary you'll need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! Bye! Rose Rose. Rose. A rose is a very common and very popular flower. It's very commonly associated with romance. It's given as a romantic gift or sometimes just as a friendly gift. I was given a white rose. I was given a white rose. I was given a white rose. Flower. 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 A flower is a plant that has a generally very colorful and often good smelling part. Many people like to pick flowers and give them as gifts to others. There are many types of flowers in the park. There are many types of flowers in the park. There are many types of flowers in the park. Lily. 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 A lily is one type of flower. Generally, lilies are white. They might look very, very pure and have kind of a peaceful appearance about them. She bought some lilies on her way home. She bought some lilies on her way home. She bought some lilies on her way home. Sunflower. 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 A sunflower is a very bright flower. It's generally yellow or orange, and many people think of sunflowers as being very cheerful. The field is full of sunflowers. The field is full of sunflowers. The field is full of sunflowers. 
Dandelion. 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 A dandelion is a small, bright yellow flower. Lots of people think of this as kind of a nuisance, as a pest flower, because it's very, very easy for a dandelion to grow anywhere. Lots of people like to blow on dandelions and make wishes as they do. Dandelions are eaten in soups and salads in some places. Dandelions are eaten in soups and salads in some places. Dandelions are eaten in soups and salads in some places. Traveling. 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 Traveling simply means moving from one place to another. When we talk about traveling, we sometimes are talking about traveling for business, going someplace for business, though we can also use it to talk about vacation for fun. Traveling requires a lot of preparation. Traveling requires a lot of preparation. Traveling requires a lot of preparation. Exercising. 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 Exercising refers to moving the body, like running or jogging or doing yoga. We do some kind of physical motion to improve our health or to keep our body in good shape. The woman is exercising on the floor. The woman is exercising on the floor. The woman is exercising on the floor. Workout. Workout. Work. Out. So a workout refers to an exercise routine, like your exercise plan for a day or a session or a month, for example. A 30-minute workout every day can improve your health. A 30-minute workout every day can improve your health. A 30-minute workout every day can improve your health. Reading. 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 Reading is the simple act of looking at words on a page and taking them into your mind. So reading is a very, very common hobby. Many people love reading, whether it's books or newspapers or magazines. I really like reading books. I really like reading books. I really like reading books. Playing cards. Playing cards. Playing cards. Playing cards used as a noun refers to what's called a deck of cards where we have numbers from ace through two to 10 included and then we have a jack, a queen, and a king. So a set of these is called playing cards. Those are called playing cards. When we use these to play a game, we use the expression to play cards. For example, we often play cards on a warm summer evening. We often play cards on a warm summer evening. We often play cards on a warm summer evening. Earring. 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 An earring is a type of jewelry. We wear earrings in our ears. Many people have places for earrings at the base of their ears, though you can also wear them up at the top of the ear. A good way to remember earring is to break the word into two parts, ear and ring. This can help you to remember it's a ring, though not always in a ring shape, that goes in your ear. Big earrings are fashionable. Big earrings are fashionable. Big earrings are fashionable. Necklace. 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 A necklace is another type of jewelry. We wear a necklace around our neck. So again, we can break this word into two parts to help us remember the word. Neck is the first part and lace is the second part. So today, although we don't usually wear lace around our neck as jewelry, it's still a type of decoration. So this can help us to connect the meaning with the word in our mind. How much is that diamond necklace? 
How much is that diamond necklace? How much is that diamond necklace? Ring. 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 A ring is a type of jewelry that we wear on the finger. Men and women wear rings very, very commonly. The jeweler showed me a beautiful ring. The jeweler showed me a beautiful ring. The jeweler showed me a beautiful ring. Boxer shorts. Boxer shorts. Boxer shorts. Boxer shorts are a very common type of underwear. Typically, men wear them, but really anybody can wear them if they decide to. Boxer shorts are an undergarment for men. Boxer shorts are an undergarment for men. Boxer shorts are an undergarment for men. Skirt. 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 A skirt is a type of clothing. We wear skirts from the waist down. They can be very short skirts or very long skirts. Many women like to wear skirts, but these days anyone can wear whatever they like. She is wearing a yellow skirt. She is wearing a yellow skirt. She is wearing a yellow skirt. Hamburger. 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 A hamburger is a very, very popular type of food. A hamburger, in the most basic sense of the word, is a patty, so a piece of meat, usually made of beef, though sometimes of pork, and it is between two pieces of bread. This is a hamburger. I have just ordered a hamburger. I have just ordered a hamburger. I have just ordered a hamburger. Cheeseburger. 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 A cheeseburger is just like a hamburger. So a hamburger is a piece of grilled meat and it's between two pieces of bread. A cheeseburger is different because we put cheese on top of the meat between the pieces of bread. A cheeseburger is a hamburger with a slice of cheese. A cheeseburger is a hamburger with a slice of cheese. A cheeseburger is a hamburger with a slice of cheese. Pizza. 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 Pizza is a very common and very popular food all around the world. Pizza, very simply, is a large piece of bread that we call crust. It's very, very thin bread. And there's typically a sauce on top, in addition to meats, cheeses, vegetables, whatever you like. Pizza is an Italian dish, but it is a popular dish around the world. Pizza is an Italian dish, but it is a popular dish around the world. Pizza is an Italian dish, but it is a popular dish around the world. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. A hot dog is a food that's very commonly eaten at sporting events in the USA and in other countries as well. A hot dog is a piece of meat, usually a type of pork, that is quite long and it's inside two pieces of bread. Usually as toppings, we have mustard or ketchup or maybe other things as well. I prefer hot dogs at a BBQ. I prefer hot dogs at a BBQ. I prefer hot dogs at a BBQ. Tip. 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 A tip is something that you might not have in your country. It's like an extra amount we pay after a service situation. So typically, when you go to a cafe or to a restaurant in the USA or in some other countries, after your meal after you have your experience there, it's common to leave what's called a tip. So it's extra money that you give to the server at that place to thank them for their service. Do not forget to leave a tip for the waiter or waitress. Do not forget to leave a tip for the waiter or waitress. 
do not forget to leave a tip for the waiter or waitress. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! Bye-bye! Now, if you're wondering how to remember these words forever so that you can start speaking more and more, here's how. 1. Review them with our spaced repetition flashcards. Our flashcards will drill these words into your long-term memory. 2. Save the words to our word bank, your personal collection of words, where you can print out physical study sheets. And 3. Watch our looped vocabulary slideshows on repeat until you understand every word. You'll find these tools inside our learning program. Just click the link in the description to get them. Country. 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 The word country has a few different uses. So you probably know about country as in the place where you were born. You know, there are many different countries in the world. This use of country, however, refers to a place outside the city. You might know the word countryside to refer to some place out in nature. We often use country to make that word a little shorter in everyday conversation. They have a big house in the country. They have a big house in the country. They have a big house in the country. Village. 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 A village is like a very, very small town. There are not so many people and not so many buildings. It's a very small community of people. My grandfather lives in a small village. My grandfather lives in a small village. My grandfather lives in a small village. Town. 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 A town is a little bit larger than a village. There are more people, maybe there are more stores, restaurants perhaps, more activities, more things to do. Excuse me, where is the nearest town? Excuse me, where is the nearest town? Excuse me, where is the nearest town? Suburb. 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 A suburb is an area just outside a big city. So if you imagine a big city as being at the core of a circle, the suburb area is the area a little bit outside of that core city area. So the suburbs are generally considered good places to raise families because you have access to the big city, but there's a little more nature and they're generally safer places. I moved to the suburbs last year. I moved to the suburbs last year. I moved to the suburbs last year. Room. 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 So a room is a space inside a house or an apartment or other kind of living situation. We usually use the word room to talk about the place where you sleep. You may also see room at the end of other words to talk about the function of that room, like living room or dining room or bathroom. My room is small. My room is small. My room is small. Burn. 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 A burn is a type of injury. When we have a burn, it's usually very, very painful, kind of stings a little bit. It turns red and it can hurt to touch. A burn is caused by something very hot, like fire or perhaps touching a hot stove. My burn hurts a lot. My burn hurts a lot. My burn hurts a lot. Chess. Chess. 
chess. Chess is a very well-known board game. It's played between two people. Each player has a lot of pieces, and the goal of the game is to use your pieces to move into a position so that you are ready to take your opponent's king. Chess is a game of strategy and concentration. Chess is a game of strategy and concentration. Chess is a game of strategy and concentration. Language. 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 Language refers to vocabulary words, grammar rules, idioms, and so on. All of the things that work together that allow you to communicate with another person. Think in the language you want to learn. Think in the language you want to learn. Think in the language you want to learn. Blow dry. Blow dry. Blow dry. So to blow dry refers to using a drying machine of some kind, usually for hair, <laughs> to cause something to become dry. I blow dry my hair every morning. I blow dry my hair every morning. I blow dry my hair every morning. Martial arts. Martial arts. Martial arts. Martial arts refers to methods of combat, so fighting with other people, and self-defense, so protecting yourself from attackers. In today's world, they can be used for fighting and for self-defense, but they are widely, commonly practiced as sports. Do you like martial arts? Do you like martial arts? Do you like martial arts? Satisfied. 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 Satisfied is used to talk about being happy with the outcome of something. You can use this after a meal, after purchasing a product. After you have some kind of experience, you can describe a pleasant reaction to the experience with satisfied. I'm satisfied with the result. I'm satisfied with the result. I'm satisfied with the result. Calm. 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 Calm is an adjective we can use to talk about people and that we can use to talk about environments like the weather or nature. So when something is calm or when a person is calm, it is undisturbed. So someone who is calm doesn't get angry or upset easily. When we want to describe an environment that is calm, it's the same idea. So it's not turbulent. There are not lots of waves or not lots of wind. Everything is very still. The ocean is calm. The ocean is calm. The ocean is calm. Comb, comb, comb. Comb can be used as a noun or as a verb. As a verb, it means the action of using a comb to remove something from hair or to straighten hair. I comb my dog every day. I comb my dog every day. I comb my dog every day. Gargle, gargle, gargle. So gargle, this is a verb. We use it to describe the health practice of taking water or another liquid into your mouth and kind of using your throat muscles to mix that around in your mouth, maybe to clear out bacteria or to clear out germs. So typically we do not swallow or take that liquid into our body. We usually spit it out. This is called gargling. I gargle several times a day. I gargle several times a day. I gargle several times a day. Dissatisfied. 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 
dissatisfied is used to describe an unhappy feeling at the outcome of something. So after a meal that's not good, or if we buy a product that's not very good, we can describe our feelings, our unhappy feelings, with the word dissatisfied. The man is dissatisfied with the product. The man is dissatisfied with the product. The man is dissatisfied with the product. Five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand refers to five thousands of something. Remember, when you use the word thousand as a counter word, simply put the basic form of the number before the word thousand. You don't need to make any changes to that number word. Five thousand people were protesting on the square. Five thousand people were protesting on the square. Five thousand people were protesting on the square. Three thousand. Three thousand. Three thousand. So three thousand refers to three thousands of something. Again, before using the word thousand, simply use the basic number word. In Peru, more than three thousand types of potatoes exist. In Peru, more than three thousand types of potatoes exist. In Peru. More than three thousand types of potatoes exist. Six thousand. Six thousand. Six thousand. Six thousand refers to six one thousandths of something. There are around six thousand islands in Greece. There are around six thousand islands in Greece. There are around six thousand islands in Greece. Seven thousand. Seven thousand. Seven thousand. Seven thousand refers to seven one thousands of something. She sold seven thousand albums. She sold seven thousand albums. She sold seven thousand albums. Nine thousand. Nine thousand. Nine thousand. Nine thousand refers to nine one thousands of something. Nine thousand troops withdrew from the country. Nine thousand troops withdrew from the country. Nine thousand troops withdrew from the country. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Bye bye. Landlord. 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 A landlord is the person who owns land, or a person who owns a building. If you rent a house or if you rent an apartment, you probably have to pay your rent to a landlord every month. My brother's landlord will not accept a check. My brother's landlord will not accept a check. My brother's landlord will not accept a check. Dormitory. 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 A dormitory is a place where many people live together. Usually, students live in dormitories, especially their first or maybe second year of college. You may also see company dormitories for company staff. This word is long, so we often call them dorms. I lived in the dormitory for all four years of college. I lived in the dormitory for all four years of college. I lived in the dormitory for all four years. Of college, apartment building, apartment building, apartment building.
building. An apartment building is a building that's used just for apartments. So there's lots and lots of small houses inside an apartment building. This is different from a dormitory because a dormitory is usually a bunch of small rooms, just rooms together. Apartment buildings are composed of like small houses. You can find kitchens, living rooms, bathrooms, everything inside one apartment. There are 24 apartments in this apartment building. There are 24 apartments in this apartment building. There are 24 apartments in this apartment building. City. 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 A city is like a very big town. A city is a place with many people. It's very lively. There are lots of activities, lots of things to do. It can be noisy at times. So think of a city as something bigger and much more exciting perhaps than a town. He moved from the country to the city. He moved from the country to the city. He moved from the country to the city. Farm. 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 A farm is a place where food is grown. This can be vegetables, fruits. It can also be livestock. So livestock means, for example, cows, pigs, sheep, and so on. So a farm is a place where food comes from. The goats are playing on the farm. The goats are playing on the farm. The goats are playing on the farm. Tsunami. 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 A tsunami is like a very, very large, very fast moving wave. A tsunami is a very, very dangerous natural occurrence. It can cause huge disasters in cities and towns. The tsunami hit the city. The tsunami hit the city. The tsunami hit the city. Avalanche. 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 An avalanche is another type of natural disaster. When a lot of snow becomes dislodged, meaning it gets moved from its original position high up in the mountains, and a lot of snow moves together, it can create a very, very large amount of snow that falls down a mountain very, very fast. This can be extremely dangerous if you're hiking or skiing or snowboarding. The avalanche destroyed the ski resort, but luckily nobody was hurt. The avalanche destroyed the ski resort, but luckily nobody was hurt. The avalanche destroyed the ski resort, but luckily nobody was hurt. Fire. 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 So there are many situations where we use the word fire. We can, of course, use it to talk about like the top of a candle, for example. But when we need to talk about a disaster or an emergency situation, we call it a fire. We use the article a or we use the as well to talk about a specific disaster. When we talk about it to describe a disaster, it's typically a very large scale fire, as in like a building fire or perhaps a fire at a store. The fire is burning. The fire is burning. The fire is burning. Earthquake. 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 An earthquake is another type of natural disaster. It may be helpful to break this word into two parts to understand the meaning. Earth refers to our planet, so the ground. Quake means to shake. So we can imagine this as together meaning ground and shake. So earthquake means shaking ground or the planet shaking in some way. Earthquakes can be very big or very small. So sometimes they can be very dangerous. Generally, they are fairly surprising. The earthquake is shaking the ground. The earthquake is shaking the ground. The 
earthquake is shaking the ground. Sandstorm. 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 So a sandstorm is a type of storm where instead of rain or clouds or thunder and lightning in the air, there's sand that is moving around quickly, high speeds in the air. So a sandstorm can move up way, way, way high up in the air, and then it can fall to the ground or it can touch down is what we call it. When a sandstorm moves from high up in the air to ground level, we call that touching down. This can be a very, very dangerous situation. The sandstorm has touched down. The sandstorm has touched down. The sandstorm has touched down. Glove. 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 A glove is an article of clothing. It's a piece of clothing. We wear gloves on our hands. A glove is different from a mitten, which you might know about, because a glove has space for individual fingers. There's a pocket for each finger with a glove. A mitten uses one pocket only for all of these fingers. I need new gloves for autumn. I need new gloves for autumn. I need new gloves for autumn. Umbrella. 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 An umbrella is something we use to protect ourselves from the rain. We can carry small folding umbrellas or we can choose to use a larger umbrella. When we use an umbrella, we put it up above our heads to protect us from falling raindrops. I forgot my umbrella in the office. I forgot my umbrella in the office. I forgot my umbrella in the office. Hat. 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 So a hat is a type of clothing. We wear hats on our head. Hat is the most general type of hat. There are many different types of hat inside the category. You might see beanies, you might see baseball hats or baseball caps, you might see cowboy hats. There are many different types. We can understand all of these as hats. How much is this hat? How much is this hat? How much is this hat? Long sleeved. Long sleeved. Long sleeved. Long sleeved is an adjective. We use long sleeved to talk about the length of a sleeve on a shirt. Something that is long sleeved goes until the wrist. This is what we consider long. And make sure you clearly pronounce that D sound at the end. So not long sleeve, but long sleeved shirt. Long sleeved shirts are good for cold weather. Long sleeved shirts are good for cold weather. Long sleeved shirts are good for cold weather. Short sleeved. Short sleeved. Short sleeved. So a short sleeved shirt is the opposite of a long sleeved shirt. If a long sleeved shirt goes all the way to the wrist, a short sleeved shirt generally ends about here. If you can imagine a t-shirt, that's a very good example of a short sleeved shirt. Short sleeved shirts are better when it's warm. Short sleeved shirts are better when it is warm. Short sleeved shirts are better when it is warm. Painful, painful, painful. Painful is an adjective. We use painful to talk about things that hurt us, things that cause pain. This can refer to physical pain, something that causes us to feel uh, unpleasant sensations in the body. We can also use this word to talk about things that are emotionally difficult. So something that is emotionally painful might be something that causes us to feel sad or angry, for example. A jellyfish sting is very painful. A jellyfish sting is very painful. A jellyfish sting is very painful. Shy. 
Shy. Shy. Shy is an adjective that we use to talk about people. We might use it to talk about animals, like pets, from time to time too. Someone who is shy doesn't like to talk to other people, or maybe they feel nervous in social situations. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Nervous. 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 So nervous is an adjective, and we use nervous to describe our feelings, usually before we do something kind of exciting, like a performance, or maybe before we do something a little bit dangerous. So a key difference here: nervous versus shy. Someone who is shy, we use shy to talk about a person's personality trait. Nervous is used to talk about our feelings in a moment. So we could say, "I feel nervous right now." But we would use shy to describe someone's personality. She is shy, or he is shy. Nervous is temporary, hopefully. <laughs> Speaking in public makes me nervous. Speaking in public makes me nervous. Speaking in public makes me nervous. Excited. 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 Excited is an adjective that we use to talk about feelings of happiness or feelings of enthusiasm. Again, this is an adjective we use to talk about a temporary situation. So we use excited to talk about something maybe we are looking forward to. The young scientist was excited. The young scientist was excited. The young scientist was excited. Embarrassed. 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 Embarrassed is an adjective we use to describe our feelings after something usually unpleasant happens to us. We've made a mistake in front of many people, for example, and we want to describe that feeling of shame. We can use embarrassed to do that. My face turns red when I'm embarrassed. My face turns red when I am embarrassed. My face turns red when I am embarrassed. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Bye bye. Restaurant. 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 A restaurant is a place you can go to have someone else cook food and serve it to you. It's often a place we go for a treat or a special occasion. That's a good restaurant. That's a good restaurant. That's a good restaurant. Cafe. 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 A cafe is another place you can go to to have someone else cook for you and prepare drinks for you. But a cafe tends to be a little bit smaller than a restaurant in size, and the menu is also a little smaller. Usually, at cafes, you can find tea, coffee, and other drinks, in addition to very light food like cakes or donuts. Where is the closest cafe? Where is the closest cafe? Where is the closest cafe? Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Sometimes we use coffee shop and cafe to mean the same thing, but a coffee shop specifically is a shop that serves just coffee. So there are no other drinks on the menu, just coffee. In terms of food, you might see a cookie or something else small like that. Shall we stop by a coffee shop? Shall we stop by a coffee shop? Shall we stop by a coffee shop? Bar. 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 
A bar is a place you can visit to have alcoholic drinks. Bars usually also have non-alcoholic drinks available too. In most cases, bars are available for adults to enter only. Kids are not allowed. My favorite bar was closed. My favorite bar was closed. My favorite bar was closed. Furniture. 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 Furniture refers to all of the objects we have in our house that we use for sitting, for laying, and for other kinds of decoration and storage. For example, a couch or a bed or a shelf. These are all examples of furniture. We'll load the furniture into the truck. We'll load the furniture into the truck. We'll load the furniture into the truck. Grass. 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 Grass is very commonly found in front of people's houses when they live in the suburbs, so in the area outside of big cities in the USA. People like to take care of the grass in front of their house. You can also find wild grass, so it tends to not be so green. You might see wild grass in yellow or orange colors. The grasses that you see in front of people's homes in the US tends to be a green color. The green grass smells fresh. The green grass smells fresh. The green grass smells fresh. Soil. 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 Soil is what we use to put plants in that will help them grow. Soil has lots and lots of minerals and good things that are helpful for plants as they get bigger. The soil cracked due to the drought. The soil cracked due to the drought. The soil cracked due to the drought. Dirt. 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 So dirt and soil look very similar. The difference between dirt and soil is that soil has lots of minerals and things that are good for plants that helps them grow. Dirt, on the other hand, does not have minerals. It doesn't have all those things that are helpful for plants. The baby elephant is playing with dirt in a zoo. The baby elephant is playing with dirt in a zoo. The baby elephant is playing with dirt in a zoo. Rock. 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 A rock is a very small, hard object. We see rocks all over the place in nature. They can be small, as I described, but you might also see larger rocks too. So they're very hard to break and very dangerous if you throw them. The two crabs are walking on a rock. The two crabs are walking on a rock. The two crabs are walking on a rock. Tree. 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 A tree is a type of plant. A tree is generally quite tall, usually taller than people, and they can stretch to be extremely, extremely tall in forests, for example. He was reading a book under a tree. He was reading a book under a tree. He was reading a book under a tree. Taoism. 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 Taoism is a philosophy that began in China. A key focus of Taoism is living in harmony. Taoism is also known as Taoism. Taoism is also known as Taoism. Taoism is also known as Taoism. Bible. 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 A Bible is a book of sacred or holy texts important in the Christian religion. He reads the Bible. He reads the Bible. He reads the Bible. 
Quran. 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 Quran refers to the collection of sacred or holy texts important in the religion of Islam. The Quran is the holy book of the Muslim religion. The Quran is the holy book of the Muslim religion. The Quran is the holy book of the Muslim religion. Priest. 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 A priest is a religious leader in a community. Priest is used to refer to men. He got advice from a priest. He got advice from a priest. He got advice from a priest. Judaism. 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 Judaism is a religion connected to the culture, traditions, and history of the Jewish people. Judaism has been practiced for over 3,000 years. Judaism has been practiced for over 3,000 years. Judaism has been practiced for over 3,000 years. 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. Thousand. So 1,000 refers to 1,000 of something. There is only 1,000 yen in my wallet. There is only 1,000 yen in my wallet. There is only 1,000 yen in my wallet. 2,000. 2,000. 2,000. 2,000 refers to two one-thousands of something. It costs $2,000. It costs $2,000. It costs $2,000. 8,000. 8,000. 8,000. 8,000 8, 8, refers to eight one-thousands of something. When you pronounce this, the eight and thousand sound like they connect a little bit. So not eight thousand, but eight thousand. Eight thousand people live in that village. Eight thousand people live in that village. Eight thousand people live in that village. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. 10,000 refers to 10 thousands of something. They raised 10,000 euro for charity. They raised 10,000 euro for charity. They raised 10,000 euro for charity. 4,000. 4,000. 4,000. 4,000 refers to four one thousands of something. The stadium is 4,000 square meters. The stadium is 4,000 square meters. The stadium is 4,000 square meters. Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description to sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com and get access to the full list of vocabulary you'll need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Bye! Now, if you're wondering how to remember these words forever so that you can start speaking more and more, here's how. One, review them with our spaced repetition flashcards. Our flashcards will drill these words into your long-term memory. Two, save the words to our word bank, your personal collection of words, where you can print out physical study sheets. And three, watch our looped vocabulary slideshows on repeat until you understand every word. You'll find these tools inside our learning program. Just click the link in the description to get them. Take out. Take out. Take out.
So the verb take out means to remove something from a location. We often use take out when we're talking about removing something from our house or removing something from a closet. We can also use it to talk about removing food from a restaurant when we take out our order. Can you take out the trash, please? Can you take out the trash, please? Can you take out the trash, please? Waiter. 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 A waiter is a person at a restaurant or perhaps a cafe that takes your order. We typically use the word waiter to talk about staff who are male. I'll call the waiter. I'll call the waiter. I'll call the waiter. Weather report. Weather report. Weather report. A weather report is the part of the news, or maybe the part of the newspaper that gives you information about the weather. It usually tells you about a week in advance about what the weather is going to be like. Check the weather report before going sailing. Check the weather report before going sailing. Check the weather report before going sailing. Celsius. 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 Celsius is the system that is used to measure temperature, typically in countries that use the metric system. You might see it shortened as C. When you're seeing measurements in degrees, water freezes at zero degrees Celsius. Water freezes at zero degrees Celsius. Water freezes at zero degrees Celsius. TV show. TV show. TV show. A TV show is some kind of program on your TV. You can see on your TV, or these days we can watch on our computers as well. It's usually a series. There are several episodes in a show, so we don't use TV show to talk about movies. We use TV show to talk about things that have episodes, many different episodes. I always watch this TV show. I always watch this TV show. I always watch this TV show. Jogging. 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 Jogging is the name of a very popular form of exercise. As a verb, it's to jog. But jogging, the noun form, expresses the name of the activity, which is just light running. Jogging is fun. Jogging is fun. Jogging is fun. Fast food. Fast food. Fast food. Fast food is food that you can receive quickly. Generally, we imagine very, very big companies like McDonald's or Burger King or maybe Taco Bell or whatever your country has some kind of place where you can go to get food very quickly. Generally, fast food is not so healthy, but there may be some healthy options out there. I crave fast food every once in a while. I crave fast food every once in a while. I crave fast food every once in a while. Park. 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 A park is a place in your city or in your community that's usually big and open and green. There might be places to sit or places for kids to play. It's a public space that the community can use to enjoy some fresh air and get some exercise. Let's go to the park. Let's go to the park. Let's go to the park. Traffic light. Traffic light. Traffic light. A traffic light is the light that you see above a street when you're using a car or when you're walking around your city. In many U.S. cities and most U.S. cities, the lights are green, yellow, and red. You may also hear these called traffic signals. For your safety, check the traffic lights. For your safety, check the traffic lights. For your safety, check the traffic lights. 
sign, sign, sign. A sign is something you see on the side of the road or next to the road that gives you some information about something coming up, or it gives you an action to do, a command. For example, stop when you see the stop sign. Stop when you see the stop sign. Stop when you see the stop sign. Subway. 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 A subway is an underground transportation system. So this is different from a train. A train is above the ground. A subway is usually below the ground. Maybe in some cases the subway comes up out of the ground or comes outside for a short period of time, but usually subways are all underground transportation systems. I take the subway to the office. I take the subway to the office. I take the subway to the office. Train station. Train station. Train station. A train station is a transportation hub. It's a place where a train stops. You can get on and get off the train there. I can't find the train station. I can't find the train station. I can't find the train station. 500, 500, 500. When you count by hundreds, use a base number plus the word hundred. This one means five one hundreds of something. My house is 500 meters from here. My house is 500 meters from here. My house is 500 meters from here. 999, 999, 999. So this number is special because it is the last number that we use with the hundred counting pattern. After this number, we typically use the thousand word to count numbers. We bought 999 chairs for the event. We bought 999 chairs for the event. We bought 999 chairs for the event. 101. 101. 101. When you're counting three digit numbers, typically it will follow a pattern like this number, hundred, and another number. It's also extremely common to see 100 and 1, so an and before the final number. My score was 101. My score was 101. My score was 101. 400. 400, 400. So again, when you're using the hundred counting pattern, simply use the base number plus the word hundred. There is no change to the base number when you're using it with hundred. One lap in the stadium is 400 meters long. One lap in the stadium is 400 meters long. One lap in the stadium is 400 meters long. 900, 900, 900. So another example in the hundred counting pattern, we use nine plus hundred to mean nine one hundreds of something. The antique spoon was 900 years old. The antique spoon was 900 years old. The antique spoon was 900 years old. Inch, inch, inch. So an inch is a small unit of measurement. We use this in the USA. It's not used so much in countries that use the metric system. We use it to measure everyday objects, the dimensions of everyday objects, and also on like construction sites and in places where we are building things. I just bought a 40 inch flat screen television. I just bought a 40 inch flat screen television. I just bought a 40 inch flat screen television. Kilogram, 
kilogram. Kilogram. A kilogram is a unit of measurement. We use kilograms to measure weight. You will typically see this used in countries that use the metric system. Kilogram is not so commonly used in the US. One kilogram is 1,000 grams. One kilogram is 1,000 grams. One kilogram is 1,000 grams. Centimeter. 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 A centimeter is a small unit of measurement that we use to measure the dimensions of everyday objects and to use when we're planning construction projects and so on. I need a 10 centimeter thick mattress. I need a 10 centimeter thick mattress. I need a 10 centimeter thick mattress. Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Bye! Headache. 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 A headache is a pain in your head. So when we say, I have a headache, it refers to a pain that's specifically maybe around this area or for many people, perhaps in the back of the head. My headache is getting worse. My headache is getting worse. My headache is getting worse. Diarrhea. 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 Diarrhea is a very, very unpleasant condition where your body has trouble processing food and drinks correctly. Maybe you have a germ or maybe you ate something that was not good for your stomach. And so you have to use the bathroom a lot or the way that your body produces waste changes a bit. This medicine will stop the diarrhea. This medicine will stop the diarrhea. This medicine will stop the diarrhea. Symptom. 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 So a symptom is something that you notice that gives you a clue about your sickness. So common symptoms are like fever or a runny nose or a sore throat. These are like the parts of an illness. What are your symptoms? What are your symptoms? What are your symptoms? Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. So a stomach ache refers to, again, an unpleasant feeling in the body, maybe because you ate something bad or maybe because of an illness. But a stomach ache refers to the pain in your body. The earlier word that we talked about that also refers to a pain or an unpleasant feeling in the stomach refers to the waste the body produces. This one is very, very common, especially among kids, stomach aches. Yesterday, I had a bad stomach ache. Yesterday, I had a bad stomach ache. Yesterday, I had a bad stomach ache. Clean. 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 So clean can be used as both an adjective and as a verb. When we use it as a verb, it means to make something tidy or to organize something or to sanitize something. As in, did you clean your room? Did you clean your room? Did you clean your room? Dry. 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 So dry can be used as a verb and as an adjective. When we use it as a verb, it can mean to remove the moisture from something, like when you dry your hair. It can also mean to leave something alone and allow the moisture to leave that thing. For example, I'm waiting for the paint to dry. I'm waiting for the paint to dry. I'm waiting for the paint to dry. Dust. Dust. 
dust. Dust can be used as both a noun and a verb. When we use dust as a noun, it refers to the very, very small pieces of dirt that we find usually in the corners of our homes, or maybe we find it on tops of shelves and so on. I am allergic to dust. I am allergic to dust. I am allergic to dust. Vacuum. 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 Vacuum is both a noun and a verb. When we use vacuum as a verb, it means to use a vacuum cleaner, so a machinery specifically for picking up dust to clean our house. I have to vacuum the hallway before the guests come. I have to vacuum the hallway before the guests come. I have to vacuum the hallway before the guests come. Intersection. 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 So an intersection refers to a place where two roads meet, the two roads cross. We talk about the middle point of those roads as the intersection. There is traffic in the intersection. There is traffic in the intersection. There is traffic in the intersection. Highway. 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 A highway is a road that sometimes is actually higher than other roads, though not always. Sometimes it's at a regular level. But a highway is generally a place where cars can travel very quickly. Highways are generally outside of cities or they're above cities. Traffic conditions on the highway are normal this morning. Traffic conditions on the highway are normal this morning. Traffic conditions on the highway are normal this morning. Road. 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 So road is a very general word that we can apply to many different situations. A highway is a type of road. You can imagine a path in the park is kind of like a small road. Your everyday city streets we can call roads as well. So basically anything that you use to travel, usually with a car or maybe with a bicycle, is something we can call a road. There is ice on the road. There is ice on the road. There is ice on the road. Street. 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 So we use streets as a way to organize our cities. So we often use street and road interchangeably. So we tend to use street when we're talking maybe about cities or in neighborhood situations. Let's cross the street. Let's cross the street. Let's cross the street. Interesting. 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 Interesting is an adjective. We use interesting to describe something that we find cool or something that sparks our curiosity, something that is exciting to us. The title of the book seemed interesting. The title of the book seemed interesting. The title of the book seemed interesting. Mean. 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 We use the word mean to describe someone who is unkind. Someone who is mean is not nice to other people. Some people are just mean and don't want others to be happy. Some people are just mean and don't want others to be happy. Some people are just mean and don't want others to be happy. Bored. 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 So bored is used to talk about your own feelings. When there's nothing to do or you don't feel excited or you don't feel interested in something, you can describe that feeling with bored. Remember, when you want to talk about something outside you that doesn't cause you to feel interested, you describe that thing as boring. Your emotions, bored. I'm bored. 
I'm bored. I'm bored. 700. 700. Seven hundred. When you're counting numbers by hundreds, just put the base number before hundred. In this case, seven plus hundred makes seven hundred. This statue is seven hundred years old. This statue is seven hundred years old. This statue is seven hundred years old. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. 800. So just like the last example, 800 refers to eight hundreds of something. The field is 800 hectares. The field is 800 hectares. The field is 800 hectares. 200. 200. 200. So again, when you're counting by hundreds, simply put the number before the word hundred. So 200 refers to two one hundreds of something. We have over 200 books here. We have over 200 books here. We have over 200 books here. 300. 300. 300. Again, the latest example, three plus hundred refers to three one hundreds of something. You can see that in English, we don't make a change to the number that comes before hundred. In some languages, your number that you use to count hundreds may change according to the sound or according to the spelling of the word. In English, we do not need to change this base number. This school has 300 students. This school has 300 students. This school has 300 students. 600, 600, 600. Our final example of hundreds today is 600. So again, six comes before the word hundred to refer to six one hundredths of something. Six times 100 equals 600. Six times 100 equals 600. Six times 100 equals 600. Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Bye! Now, if you're wondering how to remember these words forever so that you can start speaking more and more, here's how. One. Review them with our spaced repetition flashcards. Our flashcards will drill these words into your long-term memory. Two, save the words to our word bank, your personal collection of words, where you can print out physical study sheets. And three, watch our looped vocabulary slideshows on repeat until you understand every word. You'll find these tools inside our learning program. Just click the link in the description to get them. Illness. 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 So illness refers to a type of disease or like a type of sickness. We don't really say, I have an illness. It sounds a little bit too formal, but we use illness to describe the level of seriousness of something. For example, he has a cold. It's only a minor illness. He has a cold. It's only a minor illness. He has a cold. It's only a minor illness. Cold. 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 So this use of cold looks at the use that we have to describe a very, very minor sickness. So yes, we can use cold as an adjective to describe low temperatures, but when you see cold used to talk about sickness, it refers to usually something like a runny nose or a sore throat or feeling tired. 
I think I caught a cold. I think I caught a cold. I think I caught a cold. Injury. 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 Injury is a noun, and it's different from illness or from cold because an injury is something that happens to the body. For example, you have an accident playing sports. That is an injury. An illness refers to some small germs that get into the body and that cause us to be sick. So an injury is something that happens outside you. He suffered a knee injury. He suffered a knee injury. He suffered a knee injury. Medicine. 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 Medicine is what we take to improve our condition. We can use medicine to kill bad germs or to help our body fight bad germs. We can also use medicine to reduce pain in the body. He was given a lot of medicine. He was given a lot of medicine. He was given a lot of medicine. Pain. 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 So pain is a noun. Pain refers to the uncomfortable, the unpleasant feeling in the body we have after an injury. Please keep in mind, pain and hurt are very, very different. Pain is a noun, hurt is a verb. So when you want to talk about your body feeling uncomfortable, you can say, I have pain or it hurts. This pain is unbearable. This pain is unbearable. This pain is unbearable. Fever. 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 Fever is a noun, and it refers to the body temperature being higher than normal. So most people have a body temperature that's around 98.6 degrees if we use Fahrenheit, or maybe about 37 degrees or so in Celsius. A fever refers to body temperature that's higher than that. And this is used to indicate whether we are sick or not. She's in bed with a fever. She's in bed with a fever. She's in bed with a fever. Window. 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 So a window is a fixture, a feature in a building. It's usually made of glass, though sometimes it's just open, and it allows us to look out beyond the building. Open the window, please. Open the window, please. Open the window, please. Alcohol. 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 Alcohol in everyday conversation usually refers to something that we drink for fun or maybe because we feel sad in some cases. So it's usually, in many countries, an adults-only drink. We can also use alcohol to talk about an ingredient in cleaning products, though. Like we might use an alcohol sanitizing solution to clean our hands. Whiskey is an alcohol. Whiskey is an alcohol. Whiskey is an alcohol. Meal. 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 So meal refers to the type of food that we eat at the beginning, middle, and end of the day. We call those times when we eat meals. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Fog. 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 Fog is a noun, though you may also hear the word foggy adjective used to talk about this weather condition. You can imagine fog as like a lot of clouds very, very low to the ground. The city is covered in fog. The city is covered in fog. 
The city is covered in fog. Hail. 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 So hail, when used to talk about weather conditions, refers to tiny or sometimes large balls of ice that fall from the sky. It can be quite dangerous. Hail is dangerous. Hail is dangerous. Hail is dangerous. Thunderstorm. 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 A thunderstorm refers to a type of storm that's not just rain and clouds. It's those things plus the sound of thunder. Please keep in mind when we talk about thunder and lightning in a storm, thunder is the sound and lightning is the cracks of light. A thunderstorm is approaching. A thunderstorm is approaching. A thunderstorm is approaching. Aquarium. 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 An aquarium keeps fish and other things that like to live in water. So you can have a small aquarium in your house, or you can visit a larger aquarium that keeps big fish and other exotic creatures. You might have an aquarium in your city. When are we going to the aquarium? When are we going to the aquarium? When are we going to the aquarium? Soccer. 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 Soccer is the word that we use in American English to talk about the sport that many other countries call football. It's fun to play soccer. It's fun to play soccer. It's fun to play soccer. Zoo. 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 A zoo is a park for exotic animals. So many big cities have zoos. You can go there, look at the animals, learn something about them, and in some places you can actually touch some of the animals. Tomorrow we're going to the zoo. Tomorrow we're going to the zoo. Tomorrow we're going to the zoo. Fair. 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 So fair, when used to talk about transportation, refers to how much it costs to take a mode of transportation or how much it costs to go from one place to another. How much is the bus fare? How much is the bus fare? How much is the bus fare? Bus stop. Bus stop. Bus stop. A bus stop is a place along the route of a bus. So there are typically many bus stops on a bus route. It's a location where you can get on the bus or get off the bus. Let's meet at the bus stop. Let's meet at the bus stop. Let's meet at the bus stop. Gram. 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 A gram is a unit of measurement. You may not hear this word used so much to talk about weights in American English. You might hear this more commonly used in British English, where the metric system is used. When he was born, he weighed three kilos and 200 grams. When he was born, he weighed three kilos and 200 grams. When he was born, he weighed three kilos and 200 grams. Meter. 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 So like the previous vocabulary word, meter tends to be used more often in countries that use the metric system for measurement. A meter is often used to talk about distances between locations, usually within walking distance. There are 100 centimeters in a meter. There are 100 centimeters in a meter. 
There are one hundred centimeters in a meter. Kilometer. 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 A kilometer is another unit of distance. Again, like the previous two vocabulary words, this is more commonly used in countries that have the metric system or that use the metric system. We use kilometers to measure usually distances between cities. He walked ten kilometers. He walked ten kilometers. He walked ten kilometers. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned twenty new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Bye. Rice. 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 Rice is a very common food. We eat rice with meals, usually as a side dish, but you might also see it used as a main dish. Today, I should buy a lot of rice. Today, I should buy a lot of rice. Today, I should buy a lot of rice. Bread. 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 Bread is another very popular carbohydrate. We often eat bread in the mornings, especially warmed up as toast. I buy my bread at the bakery. I buy my bread at the bakery. I buy my bread at the bakery. Egg. 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 So an egg refers to the raw form of an egg, usually as it comes from a chicken. We can also use the same word to refer to an egg after we cook it. I boil an egg. I boil an egg. I boil an egg. Noodle. 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 So noodle is a countable noun. The plural form is noodles. We typically have noodles in soup or in pasta dishes. Instant noodles are a popular light meal. Instant noodles are a popular light meal. Instant noodles are a popular light meal. Alarm clock. Alarm clock. Alarm clock. So an alarm clock is a clock that has an alarm function. Many of us use our phones as alarm clocks these days. The alarm clock is set for 5 a.m. The alarm clock is set for 5 a.m. The alarm clock is set for 5 a.m. Door. 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 So a door is the thing that we use to enter or exit a room. You can open or close a door, or in some cases, you can slide open or slide a door closed. Can you close the door? Can you close the door? Can you close the door? Remote control. Remote control. Remote control. A remote control is something we can hold in our hands, so we can remotely control something else. That means from a distance, we are able to control something, like a TV or air conditioner or something like that. Please pass me the remote control. Please pass me the remote control. Please pass me the remote control. Wipe. 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 So to wipe as a verb refers to this motion. We use the verb wipe often when we talk about cleaning something, like wiping windows or maybe wiping a table, wiping some kind of surface, usually to clean it. Don't forget to wipe the floor. Don't forget to wipe the floor. Don't forget to wipe 
the floor. Menu. Menu. Men you. A menu is like a list of choices. We usually think of menus when we visit restaurants, but you can have menus in other situations too. For example, maybe you have menus on your computer or menus on your TV. It's a list of things you can choose from. The customer is looking at the menu. The customer is looking at the menu. The customer is looking at the menu. Magazine. 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 A magazine is a group of articles generally, though you might also see groups of photographs put together. Magazines are generally provided to people once a month or maybe、uh, four times a year, something like that. So you can usually find magazines about specific topics. Would you like to read some magazines? Would you like to read some magazines? Would you like to read some magazines? Audiobook. Audiobook. Audio book. So, an audiobook is a book that you can listen to. This is different from a regular book because we read regular books. With an audiobook, you can listen and read at the same time if you like. I listen to audiobooks during my commute to work. I listen to audiobooks during my commute to work. I listen to audiobooks during my commute to work. Video game. Video game. Video game. So, a video game refers to a game that you can play on your TV or these days also on your computer or your smartphone. We say video game, but it's kind of any game that has a video component to it, something that we can see as we play the game. I'm going to buy a new video game this weekend. I'm going to buy a new video game this weekend. I'm going to buy a new video game this weekend. Cheap. 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 Cheap is the opposite of expensive. When something is cheap, that means it's available for us to buy at a low price, especially at a price lower than we expect. I'm looking for a cheap pair of shoes. I'm looking for a cheap pair of shoes. I'm looking for a cheap pair of shoes. Expensive. 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 So, expensive is the opposite of cheap, which we just talked about. Expensive refers to something that has a high price, especially for things that maybe are higher priced than usual. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. It is too expensive. Kind. 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 So the word kind, when used as an adjective, refers to someone who is nice. They are good to other people. She is a kind person with a big smile. She is a kind person with a big smile. She is a kind person with a big smile. Scary. 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 So the adjective scary refers to something that causes us to feel fear. So something outside us is scary. Please keep in mind that when you want to talk about your own emotions, you should describe that as scared. Dark streets are scary. Dark streets are scary. Dark streets are scary. Relaxing. 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 
Something that is relaxing is something that causes us to feel relaxed. So again, this is something outside of us. We might hear a relaxing sound like water. We might listen to relaxing music or we might smell something relaxing. It's something outside of us. We describe our feeling with relaxed. Massages are very relaxing. Massages are very relaxing. Massages are very relaxing. Pound. 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 So in American English, we use the word pound typically to refer to a unit of measurement. In the US, we use pounds to measure weight. One pound is 16 ounces. One pound is 16 ounces. One pound is 16 ounces. Mile. 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 So mile is another word that we use in American English to talk about the distances between things. We typically use mile to describe the distances between two cities. So you might hear kilometer used in other countries and in other types of English. In American English, because of the measurement system we use, we use miles. One mile is roughly 1.6 kilometers. One mile is roughly 1.6 kilometers. One mile is roughly 1.6 kilometers. Foot. 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 So this use of foot refers to another measurement system that is used in the USA. Foot, yes, does refer to the part of your body, but when you see foot used to talk about measurement, it's referring to a size about this big. There are 12 inches in a foot. There are 12 inches in a foot. There are 12 inches in a foot. Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Bye! Now, if you're wondering how to remember these words forever so that you can start speaking more and more, here's how. One, review them with our spaced repetition flashcards. Our flashcards will drill these words into your long-term memory. Two, save the words to our word bank, your personal collection of words, where you can print out physical study sheets. And three, watch our looped vocabulary slideshows on repeat until you understand every word. You'll find these tools inside our learning program. Just click the link in the description to get them. Coco. 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 Coco is a very popular drink. It is chocolatey and we often mix it with milk to create hot cocoa. A warm cup of cocoa is comforting on a cold winter night. A warm cup of cocoa is comforting on a cold winter night. A warm cup of cocoa is comforting on a cold winter night. Soft drink. Soft drink. Soft drink. A soft drink is any kind of drink that does not have alcohol in it. This could be soda, it could be juice, it could be tea. These are all soft drinks. Soft drinks don't contain alcohol and are usually carbonated and served cold. Soft drinks don't contain alcohol and are usually carbonated and served cold. Soft drinks don't contain alcohol and are usually carbonated and served cold. Juice. 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 Juice is a drink that comes from a fruit or a vegetable. Juice is generally quite healthy and it tastes pretty good. Fresh fruit juice is a great way to start any day. Fresh fruit juice is a great way to start any day. Fresh fruit juice is a great way to start any day. Bookshelf. 
Bookshelf. Bookshelf. A bookshelf is a piece of furniture. Typically, we use it to keep our books. It is a shelf for our books, but many people use it for other storage too. The bookshelf is full of books. The bookshelf is full of books. The bookshelf is full of books. Bed. 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 A bed is a piece of furniture. A bed is the place where we sleep. There are many different sizes. I bought a new bed. I bought a new bed. I bought a new bed. Mirror. 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 A mirror is an object that is reflective. That means that we can see our faces when we look into it. We typically have mirrors in our bathroom, and we can refer to small mirrors as hand mirrors. The mirror is hanging on the wall. The mirror is hanging on the wall. The mirror is hanging on the wall. Dresser. 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 A dresser is something that we have in our house to store our clothes. This might be inside the closet. It might be inside a room. It can be very big, very small. There are many different styles of dresser. In my house, I don't have a dresser. In my house, I don't have a dresser. In my house, I don't have a dresser. Sweep. 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 Sweep is a verb. We use the word sweep when we talk about cleaning house with a broom. So this motion is called sweeping. So when we want to clean things off the floor, we sweep the floor. It's so dusty. Sweep the floor. It's so dusty. Sweep the floor. It's so dusty. Sweep the floor. Put away. Put away. Put away. To put something away or to put away something means to replace something. So after we use an item in our kitchen, somewhere else in our house, after we use it and we're finished using it, we need to put it away to replace that item in its correct position. I put away the dishes. I put away the dishes. I put away the dishes. Mop. 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 Mop is interesting. A mop, as a noun, refers to the tool we use to clean our floors. It's something that we use with water and soap. We also use this word as a verb to mean to clean the floors with soap and with this scrubbing motion. I spilled the juice, so I'll mop the floor. I spilled the juice, so I'll mop the floor. I spilled the juice, so I'll mop the floor. Waitress. 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 A waitress is staff at a restaurant. A waitress is a female staff member who takes orders and delivers them to the kitchen and also brings food to the table. The waitress is holding a tray with glasses. The waitress is holding a tray with glasses. The waitress is holding a tray with glasses. Fahrenheit. 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 So Fahrenheit refers to the scale that is used in the USA to measure temperature. Water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperature. 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 Temperature refers to how hot or how cold something is. Temperature is increasing. Temperature is increasing. Temperature is increasing. Humid. Humid. 
humid. Humid refers to a weather condition or to an air condition where there is a lot of water in the air. The air feels kind of sticky or heavy. In this country, the climate is humid. In this country, the climate is humid. In this country, the climate is humid. Windy. 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 Windy is an adjective that refers to a weather condition where there's a lot of wind. It's windy outside. It's windy outside. It's windy outside. Playground. 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 A playground is a special feature in a park. They're often brightly colored. The goal of a playground is to give children a place to play. Is there also a slide on the playground? Is there also a slide on the playground? Is there also a slide on the playground? Pool. 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 You can think of a pool kind of like a really, really big bathtub. They're places where we can swim in our cities. The lifeguard is watching the pool. The lifeguard is watching the pool. The lifeguard is watching the pool. Tennis. 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 Tennis is a very popular sport. It's played with two people, sometimes with four people as well, and the players pass a ball, or rather hit a ball, back and forth across a net. Shall we play tennis? Shall we play tennis? Shall we play tennis? Basketball. 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 Basketball is a very popular sport where two teams compete against each other to score the most points by throwing a ball through a basket. Most basketball players are tall. Most basketball players are tall. Most basketball players are tall. Leader. 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 A liter is a unit of measurement, but this unit of measurement is used for liquid. How many liters of milk did you buy? How many liters of milk did you buy? How many liters of milk did you buy? Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you'll need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Bye! Frying pan. Frying pan. Frying pan. A frying pan is a very common item to have in a kitchen. It's usually quite large and it has a handle on it. We use it to make eggs, pancakes, many different things. This frying pan is very cheap. This frying pan is very cheap. This frying pan is very cheap. Cutting board. Cutting board. Cutting board. A cutting board is as it sounds. It's a board that can be wood or plastic or maybe another material that we use to cut on. This is to keep our counters clean and safe. The cook is cutting a hard boiled egg on the cutting board. The cook is cutting a hard boiled egg on the cutting board. The cook is cutting a hard boiled egg on the cutting board. Sink. 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 A sink is a place where you wash your hands or in the kitchen, a place where you wash your dishes. The sink is almost full. The sink is almost full. The sink is almost full. Bowl. 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 A bowl is something that we use to eat soup or stew or perhaps ice cream, anything that is kind of liquid-like. 
The bowl is empty. The bowl is empty. The bowl is empty. Exit. 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 The exit is the opposite of the entrance. An exit is a way out of somewhere. Where is the exit? Where is the exit? Where is the exit? Map. 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 A map can be a physical item or a digital item. It's a guide to the area around us, or it can be a guide to a larger region, like a state, a city, or even the world. Check the map to find your way to your destination. Check the map to find your way to your destination. Check the map to find your way to your destination. Suitcase. Suitcase. Suit case. A suitcase is something that we use to keep our belongings in when we travel. A suitcase can be very small or it can be very large. Do not leave valuables in your suitcase. Do not leave valuables in your suitcase. Do not leave valuables in your suitcase. Tourist. 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 A tourist is someone who visits a city or a country just to see the sights. They don't live there, they're just there temporarily for a short time to enjoy famous places. The tourist is taking pictures of the animals. The tourist is taking pictures of the animals. The tourist is taking pictures of the animals. Politics. 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 Politics refers to the government of a country or to the government of a world. It's a popular discussion topic. People like to talk about policies, about people, and about ideas relating to world governments. The politician is talking politics. The politician is talking politics. The politician is talking politics. Biology. 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 Biology is a subject of study. It's a subject in science. Biology refers to living things, to organisms, plants, animals, and creatures. Biology is the study of living organisms. Biology is the study of living organisms. Biology is the study of living organisms. Chemistry. 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 Chemistry is another subject of study, also a science. Chemistry looks at very, very small scale reactions between chemicals, gases, many different kinds of things. The laboratory is a place to learn about chemistry. The laboratory is a place to learn about chemistry. The laboratory is a place to learn about chemistry. Physics. 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 Physics is another topic in the science category. Physics looks at how we understand the world in terms of things like time and space and gravity. I know the basics of physics. I know the basics of physics. I know the basics of physics. Economics. 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 Economics is the study of the economy. So this refers to the money that comes and goes and moves around inside a country or around the world as well. Economics is a good background for many fields. Economics is a good background for many fields. Economics is a good background for many fields. Put. 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 Put is a verb. We can understand it as meaning to place. So it sounds a little bit less formal than place. Please try to put this box on the top shelf. Please try to put this box on the top shelf. Please try to put this box on the top shelf. Remember. 
Remember. Remember. Remember is a verb. It means to recall information, to be able to think of something that you saw or heard or learned about in the past. I'll try to remember. I will try to remember. I will try to remember. Hold. 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 Hold is a verb which refers to keeping something, usually in your hand. Hold on to the handrail. Hold on to the handrail. Hold on to the handrail. Shopping cart. Shopping cart. Shopping cart. A shopping cart is something we use in the supermarket. They're generally kind of large. We can push them around the store and we put our items inside. The shopping cart is empty. The shopping cart is empty. The shopping cart is empty. Plastic bag. Plastic bag. Plastic bag. A plastic bag is the bag that we get from many stores like supermarkets or convenience stores or maybe other retail stores. We get a plastic bag after we purchase items. The man is carrying a plastic bag full of groceries. The man is carrying a plastic bag full of groceries. The man is carrying a plastic bag full of groceries. Comedy. 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 Comedy is an art form. It's the art of making people laugh. Comedy is also a movie genre. They're watching a comedy and laughing. They're watching a comedy and laughing. They're watching a comedy and laughing. Novel. 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 A novel is a type of book. It's a long story. So there are many different kinds of books. Books that are novels refer to these long stories, often with complex plots and interesting characters. I like suspense novels. I like suspense novels. I like suspense novels. Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you'll need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Bye! Now, if you're wondering how to remember these words forever so that you can start speaking more and more, here's how. One, review them with our spaced repetition flashcards. Our flashcards will drill these words into your long-term memory. Two, save the words to our word bank, your personal collection of words, where you can print out physical study sheets. And three, watch our looped vocabulary slideshows on repeat until you understand every word. You'll find these tools inside our learning program. Just click the link in the description to get them. Ninth. 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 Ninth refers to the number nine of something. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Muslim year. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Muslim year. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Muslim year. Tenth. 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 Tenth refers to the number 10 of something. We can use this in schedules, in tournaments, whatever. I finally made a goal on my 10th attempt. I finally made a goal on my 10th attempt. I finally made a goal on my 10th attempt. Eighth. 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 Eighth refers to the number eight of something. The pronunciation might be a little tricky, so be careful with this one. I live on the eighth floor. I live on the eighth floor. I live on the eighth floor. Shaving razor. Shaving razor. 
shaving razor. A shaving razor is a razor used specifically for shaving hair. This could be on the face or on other parts of the body. Disposable shaving razor. Disposable shaving razor. Disposable shaving razor. Washcloth. 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 A washcloth is a noun and it refers to a cloth we specifically use for washing the body. The boy is washing his face with a washcloth. The boy is washing his face with a washcloth. The boy is washing his face with a washcloth. Towel. 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 A towel is a cloth that we use to dry things usually. These can be very large, like to take to the beach, or very small, like for drying our hands. This towel is too small for me. This towel is too small for me. This towel is too small for me. Spoon. 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 A spoon is something we use to eat. It's a curved eating utensil, and we usually use it to eat soups or stews or ice cream, those kinds of things. Forks, spoons, and knives are eating utensils. Forks, spoons, and knives are eating utensils. Forks, spoons, and knives are eating utensils. Fork. 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 A fork is a utensil we use that has prongs at the end. So this is useful for picking things up, like stabbing things and picking things up. The fork is made of plastic. The fork is made of plastic. The fork is made of plastic. Knife. 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 A knife is a utensil we use to cut food. It's usually very sharp. Could you pass me the knife? Could you pass me the knife? Could you pass me the knife? Plate. 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 A plate is something that we use to hold our food. It's a flat object. After we finish cooking food, we put it on a plate. This plate is different from that one. This plate is different from that one. This plate is different from that one. B. 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 A bee is a very common creature. Lots of people are afraid of them. Some people have allergies to them. Bees make honey. The bee is pollinating the yellow flower. The bee is pollinating the yellow flower. The bee is pollinating the yellow flower. Ant. 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 An ant is a very common creature. They are very, very small and they live in the ground. Usually you see ants in big groups. Ants have six legs. Ants have six legs. Ants have six legs. Snake. 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 Snakes are creatures that we typically don't see in cities. You might see them out in forests, maybe in desert areas. Lots of people are afraid of snakes. The rattlesnake is coiled and ready to strike. The rattlesnake is coiled and ready to strike. The rattlesnake is coiled and ready to strike. Milk. 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 Milk is a very common and very popular drink. There are many different types of milk. Traditionally, milk came from cows or perhaps goats or sheep, but now there are types that come from nuts or soy and so on. Milk is an important source of calcium for kids and adults. Milk is an important source of calcium for kids and adults. 
Milk is an important source of calcium for kids and adults. Designer. 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 A designer is someone who has a design-related job. This could be a graphic designer, it could be an interior designer, it could be a fashion designer, someone who creates designs. She wants to become a fashion designer. She wants to become a fashion designer. She wants to become a fashion designer. Artist. 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 An artist is a person who creates art. Art can mean many different things. It could be music, it could be movies, it could be paintings, something you experience in a museum, many different things. Many artists struggle for a long time before achieving success. Many artists struggle for a long time before achieving success. Many artists struggle for a long time before achieving success. Soldier. 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 A soldier is someone who is employed by the military. So their job is to participate in the military and work for the military. Sometimes this means fighting. The soldiers are moving into position. The soldiers are moving into position. The soldiers are moving into position. Entrepreneur. 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 An entrepreneur refers to someone who starts a business. They usually have a big idea that's kind of unique. They have maybe very innovative ways to approach their work sometimes. Entrepreneurs change the world with their ideas. Entrepreneurs change the world with their ideas. Entrepreneurs change the world with their ideas. Short story. Short story. Short story. A short story is different from a novel, for example, because it has very few pages. It's easy to read and understand quickly. I read only short stories. I read only short stories. I read only short stories. Folder. 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 A folder is something that we use to keep documents. This can be a physical folder or it can be a digital folder. I'm sure you have many of these on your computer. Now, if you're wondering how to remember these words forever so that you can start speaking more and more, here's how. One, review them with our spaced repetition flashcards. Our flashcards will drill these words into your long-term memory. Two, save the words to our word bank, your personal collection of words, where you can print out physical study sheets. And three, watch our looped vocabulary slideshows on repeat until you understand every word. You'll find these tools inside our learning program. Just click the link in the description to get them. Conditioner. 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 Conditioner is something we use for hair care. We usually use it after shampoo. This makes our hair shiny and soft. Rinse with conditioner. Rinse with conditioner. Rinse with conditioner. Deodorant. 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 Deodorant is something that we use to help prevent unpleasant smells coming from our body. He bought a new deodorant. He bought a new deodorant. He bought a new deodorant. Liquid soap. Liquid soap. Liquid soap. So liquid soap refers to soap that is in liquid form. This is different from something like bar soap, which is solid. Do you have liquid soap? Do you have liquid soap? Do you have liquid soap? Duck. 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 Duck, as a noun, refers to a very common bird. Usually you'll find them at parks, ponds, lakes, and so on. The ducklings follow the mother duck. The ducklings follow the mother duck.
The ducklings follow the mother duck. Crow. 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 A crow is a very common bird. It's all black and it's often very noisy. Crows are among the smartest birds. Crows are among the smartest birds. Crows are among the smartest birds. Cockroach. 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 A cockroach is a very small creature. It's a dirty pest, and usually people don't want them in their house. A cockroach has six legs, wings, and antenna. A cockroach has six legs, wings, and antenna. A cockroach has six legs, wings, and antenna. Mosquito. 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 A mosquito is a very small bug. Most people know them because they'll land on you, bite you, and it becomes very itchy afterwards. Dragonflies eat mosquitoes. Dragonflies eat mosquitoes. Dragonflies eat mosquitoes. Construction worker. Construction worker. Construction worker. A construction worker is someone who works on a construction site, which means a place where a building is being made or some kind of maintenance is happening. The construction worker is measuring wood. The construction worker is measuring wood. The construction worker is measuring wood. Homemaker. 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 A homemaker is a person who usually stays in the home to take care of kids, to take care of the home, to prepare meals, and so on. Men and women can be homemakers. The hardest worker anywhere is the homemaker. The hardest worker anywhere is the homemaker. The hardest worker anywhere is the homemaker. Ice. 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 Ice is frozen water. We usually like to drink it in summer to make our drinks cold. Ice has formed on the window. Ice has formed on the window. Ice has formed on the window. History. 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 History refers to the past. It's a topic of study in school. We learn all about the things that happened in the past. You can learn a lot from history as things tend to repeat themselves. You can learn a lot from history as things tend to repeat themselves. You can learn a lot from history as things tend to repeat themselves. Geography. 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 Geography refers to the study of the world. This means memorizing the names of countries and the positions of countries, or even cities, states, regions, and so on. She did not like to study geography. She did not like to study geography. She did not like to study geography. Store. 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 A store refers to any place that sells something. There are many different types of stores, like supermarkets or shoe stores and so on. A store is the general word. I'm going to the store to buy some milk and eggs. I'm going to the store to buy some milk and eggs. I'm going to the store to buy some milk and eggs. Market. 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 A market is a place, often outdoors, where individual sellers can sell things to their customers. We buy our fruits and vegetables at the local market. We buy our fruits and vegetables at the local market. We buy our fruits and vegetables at the local market. Price. 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 
Price is a noun. It refers to the cost of something in a store. What is the price? What is the price? What is the price? Coupon. 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 A coupon is something on paper or in some cases digital that you can use to get a discount for a product. I have a coupon for 50% off, so let's eat there. I have a coupon for 50% off, so let's eat there. I have a coupon for 50% off, so let's eat there. Aisle. 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 An aisle is the open space between two rows of things. For example, like rows of seats on an airplane or between shelves in a supermarket. The open space is the aisle. I would like to sit in an aisle seat in case there is an emergency. I would like to sit in an aisle seat in case there is an emergency. I would like to sit in an aisle seat in case there is an emergency. Bag. 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 A bag refers to something that we use to carry things. It can be big or small. My bag is too heavy. My bag is too heavy. My bag is too heavy. Photograph. 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 A photograph is a picture. This word is a noun. Photograph and picture generally refer to the same thing. Photograph might sound a little more formal. This photograph doesn't look good. This photograph doesn't look good. This photograph doesn't look good. Soda. 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 Soda refers to a drink that has bubbles in it. It is a non-alcoholic drink. You might also hear it called pop. Soda contains a lot of sugar. Soda contains a lot of sugar. Soda contains a lot of sugar. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you'll need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! Goodbye! Now, if you're wondering how to remember these words forever so that you can start speaking more and more, here's how. 1. Review them with our spaced repetition flashcards. Our flashcards will drill these words into your long-term memory. 2. Save the words to our word bank, your personal collection of words, where you can print out physical study sheets. And 3. Watch our looped vocabulary slideshows on repeat until you understand every word. You'll find these tools inside our learning program. Just click the link in the description to get them. Kettle. 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 A kettle is something that you use to heat up water. You might also hear this called a teapot. The kettle is on the stove. The kettle is on the stove. The kettle is on the stove. Pot. 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 A pot is something we use in the kitchen. It's usually big and round and we use it for soups and stews. That pot is 10 years old. That pot is 10 years old. That pot is 10 years old. Frog. 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 A frog is a small creature. They're typically green and we can see them around lakes and rivers. The green frog is in the water. The green frog is in the water. The green frog is in the water. Pigeon. 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 
A pigeon is a very common bird. They're very well known in like big cities and in town centers as kind of a nuisance or a pest. Don't feed the pigeons. Don't feed the pigeons. Don't feed the pigeons. Guidebook. 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 A guidebook is a book that is intended to be used as a guide. We can use guidebooks for restaurants, for travel, for many different topics. A guidebook will give you helpful information for your trip. A guidebook will give you helpful information for your trip. A guidebook will give you helpful information for your trip. Entrance. 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 An entrance is a place, usually in a building, where you can enter the space. Where's the entrance? Where's the entrance? Where's the entrance? Tour guide. Tour guide. Tour guide. A tour guide is someone who leads a tour. They are the person responsible for guiding the people on the tour. Meet your tour guide at the entrance to the hotel. Meet your tour guide at the entrance to the hotel. Meet your tour guide at the entrance to the hotel. Reservation. 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 A reservation is an appointment. We use the word reservation when we're talking about restaurants, hotels, and flight tickets as well. Do you have a reservation? Do you have a reservation? Do you have a reservation? Passport. 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 A passport is a special document given by your country that allows you to travel internationally. It's ID. The passport has expired. The passport has expired. The passport has expired. Computer science. Computer science. Computer science. Computer science is a topic of study. It's the use of computers and science together. Computer science classes are on Mondays. Computer science classes are on Mondays. Computer science classes are on Mondays. Math. 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 Math is the short form of the word mathematics. It can refer to very simple mathematics or complicated mathematics. My favorite subject in school is math. My favorite subject in school is math. My favorite subject in school is math. Feel. 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 The verb feel can be used to talk about the sensation of touching something, or it can be used to express our emotions. I feel wonderful tonight. I feel wonderful tonight. I feel wonderful tonight. Draw. 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 The verb draw is the verb that we use to refer to making a picture. So we use a pen or a pencil or something else to create a picture. The artist draws a picture. The artist draws a picture. The artist draws a picture. Plan. 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 Plan can be used as a verb or as a noun. As a verb, it means to create a schedule for something. We'll plan the holiday to Europe. We'll plan the holiday to Europe. We'll plan the holiday to Europe. Sail. 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 Sale is a noun. It refers to a discount. It's often used when shopping to refer to a place where you can receive a discount. There's a big sale in the shoe department. 
There's a big sale in the shoe department. There's a big sale in the shoe department. Shopping. 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 Shopping can be used as a noun. It can also be a verb in the progressive form. It refers to going out to a mall or a department store to look for something to buy. I love shopping for clothes. I love shopping for clothes. I love shopping for clothes. Fourth. 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 Fourth comes after third, which is after second and first. It refers to the number four of something. For my fourth birthday, my mother gave me a book. For my fourth birthday, my mother gave me a book. For my fourth birthday, my mother gave me a book. Fifth. 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 Fifth refers to the number five of something. It comes after fourth. You live on the fifth floor, don't you? You live on the fifth floor, don't you? You live on the fifth floor, don't you? Sixth. 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 So sixth refers to the number six of something. This is a really good word to practice some pronunciation. Slow down that sixth, that middle part there. The sixth book from the left. The sixth book from the left. The sixth book from the left. Seventh. 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 Seventh refers to the number seven of something. This is just like the word seven, but with th at the end. Please read the seventh paragraph of the contract. Please read the seventh paragraph of the contract. Please read the seventh paragraph of the contract. Outside. 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 Outside refers to something not in a building. It's getting cloudy outside. It's getting cloudy outside. It's getting cloudy outside. Inside. 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 The word inside refers to something within a building. It's the opposite of outside. We are inside the hotel. We are inside the hotel. We are inside the hotel. Left. 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 Left is the opposite of right. It refers to this side, or if you're watching in this video, this side, I suppose. It's on the left side. It's on the left side. It's on the left side. Right, right, right. In terms of direction, right is the opposite of left. We can also use this word to mean correct, but for this lesson, let's focus on meaning the opposite of left. There's a park on the right side of the building. There's a park on the right side of the building. There's a park on the right side of the building. First. 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 First refers to the number one of something. We use this word in competitions, in tournaments, in things to talk about the number one rank of something. They had their first child early. They had their first child early. They had their first child early. Second. 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 Second is what comes after first. It refers to the number two rank of something. Again, we use this in tournaments, in races, and so on. My office is on the second floor. My office is on the second floor. My office is on the second floor. Third. Third. 
third. Third refers to the number three of something. While again, we can use this word in tournaments and races, we can also use it to refer to the number three of something. My credit card bill is due on the third of every month. My credit card bill is due on the third of every month. My credit card bill is due on the third of every month. Soap. 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 Soap is what we use to wash our hands, to wash our clothes, to wash our dishes. We can refer to all of these as soap. Bathe with soap and water every day. Bathe with soap and water every day. Bathe with soap and water every day. Toothbrush. 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 A toothbrush is the thing that we use to clean our teeth. So please keep in mind, we do not say teeth brush. No, we use toothbrush, toothbrush here. Can you give me that toothbrush? Can you give me that toothbrush? Can you give me that toothbrush? Toothpaste. 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 So we use toothpaste together with our toothbrush. It's like the paste that we use to clean our teeth. We're out of toothpaste. We're out of toothpaste. We're out of toothpaste. Shampoo. 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 Shampoo refers to the kind of soap that we use to clean our hair. The woman is shampooing her hair. The woman is shampooing her hair. The woman is shampooing her hair. Information. 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 Information can refer to anything that we hear or that we read. It can refer to something written. It can refer to something that we hear in sound. Many different things can be information. Can you send me the information? Can you send me the information? Can you send me the information? Farmer. 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 A farmer is someone who grows food or they raise cattle. Cattle, for example, is sheep, pigs, cows, and so on. A farmer can be a man or a woman. The farmer is in the wheat field. The farmer is in the wheat field. The farmer is in the wheat field. Secretary. 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 A secretary is like an assistant. They usually work in an office, and their responsibilities are schedules, answering phones, helping customers, and so on. The secretary is on the phone. The secretary is on the phone. The secretary is on the phone. Banker. 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 A banker is a person who works in a bank. They're someone that deals with money, they might help their clients, but they work inside a bank. My brother is a banker. My brother is a banker. My brother is a banker. Writer. 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 A writer is someone who writes. This can be a person that writes books, maybe they write articles, maybe they write for a newspaper or a magazine. Someone who writes. The writer is outlining a story on paper. The writer is outlining a story on paper. The writer is outlining a story on paper. Try. 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 To try something is like trying to test something, or rather we are aiming to test something. It's something maybe we don't know how to do yet, or we're not good at doing yet, but we want to. I'm trying to get up at six every day. I'm trying to get up at six every day. 
I'm trying to get up at six every day. Measure. 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 Measure is a verb, and it refers to finding the length or finding the width of something. We can also use it to measure to find the weight of something. More or less is fine. You don't have to measure every millimeter. More or less is fine. You don't have to measure every millimeter. More or less is fine. You don't have to measure every millimeter. Keep. 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 So the verb keep can refer to holding something, often in your house sometimes for a long time. We can also use the word keep with another verb to mean continue. It's not so easy to keep creating new ideas. It's not so easy to keep creating new ideas. It's not so easy to keep creating new ideas. Wait. 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 The verb wait refers to stopping activity, usually for a short period of time, in order to do something else. Maybe you are going to meet another person, for example. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you'll need for daily live conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! Goodbye! Brush 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 this word can be a noun or a verb. As a verb, it's used to talk about uh, combing hair, as with a hairbrush, or cleaning teeth, as with a toothbrush. It's very important to brush your teeth twice a day. It is very important to brush your teeth twice a day. It is very important to brush your teeth twice a day. Shower. 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 Shower can be used as both a noun and a verb. As a verb, it means to clean your body by standing under water. The man showers in the morning. The man showers in the morning. The man showers in the morning. Wash. 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 To wash means to make something clean. We can use it to talk about our bodies, to talk about our clothes, our dishes, anything we want to clean. The woman is washing her face. The woman is washing her face. The woman is washing her face. Leave. 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 To leave means to remove yourself from a location, to go away from a place. I leave early tomorrow morning. I leave early tomorrow morning. I leave early tomorrow morning. Check. 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 Check can be both a noun and a verb. As a verb, it means to confirm something, to see if it's correct or not. As a noun, it refers to the bill, as in at a restaurant. Could I get the check, please? Could I get the check, please? Could I get the check, please? 66. 66. 66. 66 is the number after 65. I ran for 66 minutes. I ran for 66 minutes. I ran for 66 minutes. 77. 77. 77. 77 is the number after 76. His door number is 77. His door number is 77. His door number is 77. 88. 88. 88. 88 is the number after 87. The company has 88 employees. 
The company has 88 employees. The company has 88 employees. 99. 99. 99 is the number just before 100. His grandfather is 99 years old. His grandfather is 99 years old. His grandfather is 99 years old. 100. 100. 100. 100 is the first three digit number. There are 100 people in my school. There are 100 people in my school. There are 100 people in my school. Living room. Living room. Living room. The living room is a room in the house where people generally relax. It's very common to have a sofa, maybe chairs, a table, and a television in the living room. This living room is huge. This living room is huge. This living room is huge. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. A dining room is a room that's specifically for eating or for dining. There's usually a table and some chairs. The dining room is next to the kitchen. The dining room is next to the kitchen. The dining room is next to the kitchen. Hallway. 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 Hallway or hall refers to usually like a tunnel kind of, but inside a house. So from a hallway, you can access many different rooms. Don't run in the hallways. Don't run in the hallways. Don't run in the hallways. Apartment. 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 An apartment is a style of home. So an apartment is one room or maybe one series of rooms inside a larger building. So that means there can be many apartments inside one building. Do you want to rent an apartment? Do you want to rent an apartment? Do you want to rent an apartment? House. 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 A house is a style of residence that is a separate building itself. So one house has like one family living inside it. It's not shared. It's not part of a larger building. This is my house. This is my house. This is my house. Exercise. 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 Exercise has a few different meanings, but we use it a lot to talk about working out to do something that causes us to sweat for our health. Swimming is a good way to exercise. Swimming is a good way to exercise. Swimming is a good way to exercise. Open. 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 Open can be an adjective or a verb. To open something means to cause it to not be closed. We can also use it to talk about like businesses, stores, and companies that are available for business. We describe them as open. The store is open from 9 a.m. The store is open from 9 a.m. The store is open from 9 a.m. Listen. 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 To listen means to focus your attention on something, like a sound specifically. This is different from hear, because with listen, we're actually focusing our attention on something. With hear, information just enters our ears. You should listen to the doctor. You should listen to the doctor. You should listen to the doctor. Birthday. 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 A birthday is a celebration of the day someone was born. I'm going to a birthday party this evening. I'm going to a birthday party this evening. I'm going to a birthday party this evening. Retire. 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 So to retire means to stop working. 
usually at an older age. But people like in athletics, for example, may also retire from a sport. So that means they're finished with that particular job. My grandfather wants to retire in a year. My grandfather wants to retire in a year. My grandfather wants to retire in a year. Pajamas. 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 So pajamas are the clothes that you wear when you sleep. This can be anything, whatever you find most comfortable. I want to buy a new pair of pajamas. I want to buy a new pair of pajamas. I want to buy a new pair of pajamas. Brazier. 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 So brazier is commonly shortened to just bra. A bra is usually worn by women, and it's worn on the chest. White brazier. White brazier. White brazier. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. To wake up means to stop sleeping. It's that moment when you open your eyes, usually in the morning, and you start your day. I need an alarm to help me wake up. I need an alarm to help me wake up. I need an alarm to help me wake up. Commute. 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 So a commute, that word refers to the process of going to work or the process of going to school. I commute to work by train. I commute to work by train. I commute to work by train. Eat. 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 So the verb eat means to put food in your body. So it's a very simple, basic action. The family is eating breakfast. The family is eating breakfast. The family is eating breakfast. Art. 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 So art can refer to any creative work. Music can be art. A painting can be art. Sculptures can be art. Anything that's very creative can be art. She is good at art. She's good at art. She is good at art. Literature. 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 Literature refers to the written word. We tend to use the word literature more in like polite, kind of more formal situations, often with like old fashioned stories. Literature is full of symbols and stories. Literature is full of symbols and stories. Literature is full of symbols in stories. Movie, movie, movie. A movie is something that we can watch. It's moving images on a screen. How about seeing a movie? How about seeing a movie? How about seeing a movie? Music. 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 So music is entertainment that we listen to. We can enjoy live music or we can have recorded music on our phones or on CDs or on tapes, whatever. The local music is very interesting. The local music is very interesting. The local music is very interesting. Answer. 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 Answer can be used as a noun or as a verb. As a noun, it refers to like the correct、uh, solution to a problem. We can also use answer as a verb to mean to reply to something like a question. He knows the answer. He knows the answer. He knows the answer. Teach. 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 So to teach means to explain information to someone else. She teaches classes at the university. She teaches classes at the university. She teaches classes at the university. Ask. 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 So this verb is used when you want to get information from someone. Do we need to ask? 
Do we need to ask? Do we need to ask? Close. 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 So close is the opposite of open. We can also use it as a verb, which means to cause something to not be open anymore. Could you close the door? Could you close the door? Could you close the door? Birth. 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 Birth refers to the act of bringing something into the world. We often use this when we talk about humans being born. We celebrate our birth every year. We celebrate our birth every year. We celebrate our birth every year. Work. 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 Work refers to one's job, so we can use it to talk about our daily tasks. I have a lot of work. I have a lot of work. I have a lot of work. Turn on. Turn on. Turn on. So we use this phrasal verb turn on to mean like start something as a machine. So like we turn on a car or we turn on a light. There's usually some kind of like electricity going to the machine which causes it to start. The man turned on the light. The man turned on the light. The man turned on the light. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off is the opposite of turn on. It means to cause something to lose power. Usually we use this with machines or other like electrical items. Stop the car and turn off the engine. Stop the car and turn off the engine. Stop the car and turn off the engine. Eat out. Eat out. Eat out. To eat out means to go to a restaurant or other kind of dining establishment for a meal. People like to eat out on the weekends. People like to eat out on the weekends. People like to eat out on the weekends. Attend. 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 So to attend, this is a verb, means to participate in something. I attend a meeting. I attend a meeting. I attend a meeting. West. 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 So west is the opposite of east. The sun sets in the west. The sun sets in the west. The sun sets in the west. Necktie. Necktie. Neck tie. A necktie is an accessory. Usually it's worn by men, but women can wear them too. Uh, a necktie is something that's worn around the neck and we tie it so the name matches uh, the actual object. Which necktie matches this shirt? Which necktie matches this shirt? Which necktie matches this shirt? Suit. 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 So a suit is typically regarded as professional attire. It's something that we wear when we want to go to an important business meeting, for example. Never wear a suit and a pair of sports shoes together. Never wear a suit and a pair of sports shoes together. Never wear a suit and a pair of sports shoes together. Sneaker. 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 A sneaker is a type of shoe. It's typically regarded as a very casual shoe. It's easy to wear and it's easy to walk around in. My sneakers are very comfortable. My sneakers are very comfortable. My sneakers are very comfortable. 21. 21. 21. 21 is the number after 20. 21 is a special age in the United States because this is the age at which people are legally allowed to drink alcohol. The building has 21 stories. The building has 21 stories. 
The building has twenty-one stories. Twenty-two. 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 Twenty-two is the number after twenty-one. Twenty-two is her favorite number. Twenty-two is her favorite number. Twenty-two is her favorite number. Thirty-three. 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 Thirty-three is the number after thirty-two. This book has thirty-three pages. This book has thirty-three pages. This book has thirty-three pages. Forty-four. 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 So forty-four is the number after forty-three. I'll have forty-four exams this year. I'll have forty-four exams this year. I'll have forty-four exams this year. Fifty-five. 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 So fifty-five is the number after fifty-four. Make sure to clearly pronounce the fifty so that you don't make a mistake. It might sound like fifteen if you don't pronounce fifty clearly. My TV has fifty-five channels. My TV has fifty-five channels. My TV has fifty-five channels. Student. 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 So a student is a person who attends a school or who attends lessons of some kind. She is a good student. She is a good student. She is a good student. Watch. Watch, watch. So a watch can be a noun. It refers to something we use to keep time. We wear on our wrist, or we can use it as a verb. It means to focus our attention on something, like a movie or a TV show or maybe a sporting event. I want to watch a movie. I want to watch a movie. I want to watch a movie. Classroom. 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 A classroom is a place, usually in a school, but it's a location where someone can teach a lesson. She was alone in the classroom. She was alone in the classroom. She was alone in the classroom. School. 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 A school is a place where lessons are taught. So there are elementary schools, primary schools, there are junior high schools, there are high schools, there are also universities and colleges. These are all considered schools. Many schools don't offer art classes anymore. Many schools don't offer art classes anymore. Many schools don't offer art classes anymore. School chair. School chair. School chair. So a school chair is a specific chair in which you sit when you attend school. This is very common for like primary school students. I bought a cushion for my school chair. I bought a cushion for my school chair. I bought a cushion for my school chair. School desk. School desk. School desk. So a school desk is the desk that a student has in their classroom. The chair is attached to the school desk. The chair is attached to the school desk. The chair is attached to the school desk. Surf the internet. Surf the internet. Surf the internet. So to surf the internet means just to look at things on the internet. Usually we don't have like a goal or there's not really an aim, but we're just checking things out. We're looking around. I surf the internet every night before bed. I surf the internet every night before bed. I surf the internet every night before bed. North. 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 North is the opposite of south. When you look at a map, north is the direction going up. The north wind is cold. The north wind is cold. The north wind is cold. 
return, return, return. So return can have a couple different meanings. It can mean to bring an object back to a store to get your money back. And you can also use it to talk about going back to a place yourself. When must I return it? When must I return it? When must I return it? Bathe, bathe, bathe. So to bathe means to wash. We usually use the verb bathe to talk about washing our bodies. I like to bathe in the evening just after work. I like to bathe in the evening just after work. I like to bathe in the evening just after work. Sleep, sleep, sleep. So sleep can be used as a noun and as a verb. Uh, as a verb, it means to go to your bed and to close your eyes and to lose consciousness. It's a good thing. Uh, as a noun, it refers to just the act of not being awake. You should sleep early. You should sleep early. You should sleep early. South. 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 So south is the opposite of north. When you look at a map, south is the direction that's going down. The birds are flying to the south. The birds are flying to the south. The birds are flying to the south. President, president, president. So the president of a company is the person at the top of the company. We also use president for the leader of a country. He is the president. He is the president. He is the president. Industry. 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 So an industry is like a type or a category of work. Industries need to reduce their wastes. Industries need to reduce their wastes. Industries need to reduce their wastes. Belt, belt, belt. A belt is an accessory. It goes around the waist and it's used to hold pants in place. It can also be used to hold dresses in place. The girl is wearing a red color belt. The girl is wearing a red color belt. The girl is wearing a red color belt. Coin, coin. Coin. So a coin is usually a small round shaped object. It's money, but not the paper kind. It's metal. I don't have coins. I don't have coins. I don't have coins. Money. 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 So money is what we use to pay for goods and to pay for services. We have paper money and we have metal money, coins. We also have digital money too. You're just wasting your money. You're just wasting your money. You're just wasting your money. Debit card, debit card, debit card. A debit card is similar to a credit card, but a debit card is connected directly to your bank account. So when you use a debit card, money comes directly from your bank account to pay for something. I lost my debit card and had to go to the police. I lost my debit card and had to go to the police. I lost my debit card and had to go to the police. Bill, bill, bill. There are a couple of different ways to use the word bill. So a bill can refer to paper money. We also use bill to refer to like an invoice kind of. It's when you receive a paper document, some kind of document for like your utilities, for like the electricity or the water or the internet in your home. He finally managed to pay all his bills. He finally managed to pay all his bills. He finally managed to pay all his bills. Photography, photography, photography. 
Photography is a noun. It refers to the act of taking pictures. Are you studying photography? Are you studying photography? Are you studying photography? Take off. Take off. Take off. This phrasal verb can have a couple of different meanings. We can use it to mean to remove something, as in removing clothing. It can also refer to a plane leaving the ground. The plane will take off in 20 minutes. The plane will take off in 20 minutes. The plane will take off in 20 minutes. Bedroom. 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 So the bedroom is the place where you sleep. This word is easy to remember because it has bed and room. So the room where your bed is, is the room where you sleep. The view from the bedroom is beautiful. The view from the bedroom is beautiful. The view from the bedroom is beautiful. Kitchen. 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 So the kitchen is the room in a house where you prepare food. Many people also have a table in their kitchen where they eat as well. The chef cooks in the kitchen. The chef cooks in the kitchen. The chef cooks in the kitchen. Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. So the bathroom is the room in which there's usually a bathtub, and that's the room that we use for bathing and also where we use uh, toilets as well and to wash our hands. The bathroom has a tiny window. The bathroom has a tiny window. The bathroom has a tiny window. Graduation. 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 Graduation is a noun. It refers to the ceremony in which students finish school and are recognized for their academic achievements. You are invited to my sister's graduation. You're invited to my sister's graduation. You are invited to my sister's graduation. Promotion. 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 So promotion can have two different meanings. It can mean advertisement. We use it just the same as we use advertisement. It also refers to situations in which someone receives the opportunity to move up a level in their job. He earned this promotion. He earned this promotion. He earned this promotion. Anniversary. 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 An anniversary is a celebration of a significant day. So usually we have wedding anniversaries or perhaps there's like an anniversary for a shop or a company opening. Best wishes for your anniversary. Best wishes for your anniversary. Best wishes for your anniversary. Funeral. 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 A funeral is a ceremony where people gather to remember a person who has passed away. A funeral is a time to grieve and remember. A funeral is a time to grieve and remember. A funeral is a time to grieve and remember. Wedding. 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 A wedding is a ceremony in which two people come together and agree to a partnership for life. When is the wedding? When is the wedding? When is the wedding? Explain. 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 To explain means to describe something, usually in detail. Can you explain that to me once more? Can you explain that to me once more? Can you explain that to me once more? Back. 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 So one's back can refer to this part of the body, the part that is not the front of the body. It can also refer to the rear side of something. At the back of our house, we have a garden. At the back of our house, we have a garden. At the back of our house, we have a garden. 
east, east, east. So east is the opposite of west. The sun rises in the east. The sun rises in the east. The sun rises in the east. Superior, superior, superior. The word superior can refer to something that's better than something else. We can also use it to talk about the person above us in a work or school situation. My superior is very calm. My superior is very calm. My superior is very calm. Company. 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 So, company refers to a place where you work. What do you know about this company? What do you know about this company? What do you know about this company? Salary. 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 So, salary refers to the money you receive from doing a job. What are your salary requirements? What are your salary requirements? What are your salary requirements? Radio. 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 So a radio used to refer to a machine we use so that we could receive music and listen to music at home or in the car. And we still have these today, but we also have internet versions of this. I like listening to the radio. I like listening to the radio. I like listening to the radio. Television. 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 So a television is a machine that we use to receive images. We can use it to watch videos. The family is watching television. The family is watching television. The family is watching television. Internet. 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 So the internet is something that we use to receive information on a computer or on our smartphones or on other devices. I gather information from the internet. I gather information from the internet. I gather information from the internet. Newspaper. 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 A newspaper is something that we use to receive the news, and it's on paper. So it's quite literal, a newspaper, a paper that we use to read the news. I read the newspaper every morning. I read the newspaper every morning. I read the newspaper every morning. News channel. News channel. News channel. So a news channel is one channel on TV or perhaps on a web TV uh, that only plays the news. So that's the only thing that is broadcast on that channel, the news. I turn on the news channel in the evening. I turn on the news channel in the evening. I turn on the news channel in the evening. Musical instrument. Musical instrument. Musical instrument. A musical instrument is something that we use to create sounds, to create music. There are string instruments, and there are wind instruments, and there are percussion instruments. Can you play a musical instrument? Can you play a musical instrument? Can you play a musical instrument? Painting. 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 So a painting refers to a work of art that's done by using paint and a paintbrush. This painting is very artistic. This painting is very artistic. This painting is very artistic. Theater. 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 A theater is a place where you can watch a movie or you can see a play or a musical. Where is the theater? Where is the theater? Where is the theater? Musical. 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 So a musical is a type of live show. 
It's a live show where the actors and the actresses sing the story. I got tickets to a musical. I got tickets to a musical. I got tickets to a musical. Opera. 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 So an opera is different from a musical. A musical is generally kind of a more contemporary story. Operas are a bit more old-fashioned, I guess, and there's a specific type of singing that's known in the opera. My grandparents love going to the opera. My grandparents love going to the opera. My grandparents love going to the opera. Relax. 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 So to relax means to not worry so much. It means to relieve yourself of stress. To do something that you feel like good about. Relax. Everything will be fine. Relax. Everything will be fine. Relax. Everything will be fine. Whiteboard. Whiteboard. White board. A whiteboard is a specific type of board. It's usually white in color. We can write on it with markers, and we can also erase it. A whiteboard is a perfect means to demonstrate something visually. A whiteboard is a perfect means to demonstrate something visually. A whiteboard is a perfect means to demonstrate something visually. Blackboard. 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 So a blackboard is a board that is black in color, but we cannot use like markers to write on it and erase. We have to use chalk. The teacher writes on the blackboard. The teacher writes on the blackboard. The teacher writes on the blackboard. Test. 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 Test can be used as both a noun and as a verb. As a noun, it means an examination or some kind of written information used to check someone's knowledge. As a verb, it means to check someone's knowledge. The test is on next Tuesday. The test is on next Tuesday. The test is on next Tuesday. Textbook. 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 So a textbook is something that you use to study a topic. During the year, we will cover the entire textbook. During the year, we'll cover the entire textbook. During the year, we will cover the entire textbook. Front. 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 So front is the opposite of behind. It's something that faces you. He is in front of me. He is in front of me. He is in front of me. Job. 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 So someone's job is the thing that they do for a living. That's the thing that they do to receive money to live their life. I have a busy job. I have a busy job. I have a busy job. Wallet. 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 A wallet is something that you use to store money. You can keep bills, you can keep coins, receipts, credit cards, and other things inside a wallet. My wallet is full of receipts. My wallet is full of receipts. My wallet is full of receipts. Purse. 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 So purse is used to refer to the bag that we use to carry around the things we need for the day. We tend to use purse to refer to women's bags. This is a big purse. This is a big purse. This is a big purse. Order. 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 We use the verb order to talk about asking for food, usually food or drinks, at a restaurant, at a cafe, or a bar. Confirm the order. Confirm the order. Confirm the order. Field. Field. Field.
A field is a large, open area of grass. This can be in nature, but we also use this word to talk about sports fields. Those are large, open areas of grass for football or soccer or other sports. The horse is running in the field. The horse is running in the field. The horse is running in the field. Desert. 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 A desert is a very dry place. The image of a desert is a place that has a lot of sand and where it becomes very, very hot. The sun is heating the hot desert. The sun is heating the hot desert. The sun is heating the hot desert. Boss. 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 So the word boss is used to refer to the person in charge at your workplace. Your boss is often your manager or the person above your manager. Our boss allows us to leave earlier on Wednesdays. Our boss allows us to leave earlier on Wednesdays. Our boss allows us to leave earlier on Wednesdays. Office. 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 So office refers to a place of work. You can use it to talk about the place that you go for work. You can also talk about places where other people work with this word. The office opens at 8 o'clock. The office opens at 8 o'clock. The office opens at 8 o'clock. Coworker. 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 Your coworker or your coworkers are the people that you work together with. So these are the people that you share information with, that you meet or communicate with every day. I go out to eat with my coworker every Thursday. I go out to eat with my coworker every Thursday. I go out to eat with my coworker every Thursday. Meeting. 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 A meeting is a period of time for which you and perhaps your boss and some of your coworkers gather together to discuss some topic. I forgot that the meeting was today. I forgot that the meeting was today. I forgot that the meeting was today. Police station. Police station. Police station. A police station is a place where lots and lots of police officers stay. It's kind of like an office, but for the police. The police cars are parked outside the police station. The police cars are parked outside the police station. The police cars are parked outside the police station. Pharmacy. 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 A pharmacy is a place you go to receive medication. So if you've gotten medical treatment from a hospital or a clinic, you can go to a pharmacy to receive the medicine you need. Is there a pharmacy nearby? Is there a pharmacy nearby? Is there a pharmacy nearby? Bakery. 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 A bakery is a place that bakes fresh breads, cookies, and perhaps other kinds of sweets. She goes to the bakery every Sunday with her kids. She goes to the bakery every Sunday with her kids. She goes to the bakery every Sunday with her kids. Movie theater. Movie theater. Movie theater. A movie theater is a place you can go to watch movies on a big screen. You might also hear this called a cinema. This movie theater is so crowded. This movie theater is so crowded. This movie theater is so crowded. Negotiation. 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 
A negotiation is a discussion, usually between two groups of people, and they want different things. So they discuss a topic and work together to find an agreement. That process is called a negotiation. After two years of negotiation, the two countries were finally able to come to an agreement. After two years of negotiation, the two countries were finally able to come to an agreement. After two years of negotiation, the two countries were finally able to come to an agreement. Contract. 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 A contract is a written agreement. It's very common to sign a contract before getting something like a mobile phone or getting a loan for something from a bank or other things. Could you come to our office to sign the contract? Could you come to our office to sign the contract? Could you come to our office to sign the contract? Business. 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 So a business is a place of work. We also use the word business to talk generally about the professional world sometimes. My dad owns a business. My dad owns a business. My dad owns a business. Deal. 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 So deal is kind of like a more casual word for agreement. After you've negotiated or discussed something with another person or another group for a while, you might reach an agreement and proclaim it or decide that it's a deal. We have a deal. We have a deal. We have a deal. Busy. 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 Busy is an adjective. It refers to having many things to do or not having very much free time. I'm busy tonight. I'm busy tonight. I'm busy tonight. Serious. 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 Serious can mean something that is not at all like a light topic. So maybe there's some very heavy topics that are considered serious. We can also use the word serious to talk about someone's personality. Someone who is serious doesn't laugh or smile very much. Depression is a very serious mental illness. Depression is a very serious mental illness. Depression is a very serious mental illness. Tired. 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 Tired is an adjective. It means someone doesn't have a lot of energy. Maybe they're ready to go to sleep or ready to just relax. Thanks, but I'm really tired. Thanks, but I'm really tired. Thanks, but I'm really tired. Boring. 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 Boring is an adjective which means not interesting. My job is boring. My job is boring. My job is boring. Exciting. 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 Something that is exciting is something that is very interesting. So, like roller coasters are very exciting for many people. The movie was very exciting. The movie was very exciting. The movie was very exciting. Important. 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 So the word important means something that we need to consider carefully, yes. The pronunciation of this word, that first T, is actually reduced. It sounds more like a D in fast speech. Water is important to our body. Water is important to our body. Water is important to our body. Credit card. Credit card. Credit card. 
So a credit card is a very useful method to pay for things. We use a credit card to pay for something at the moment, and then we repay our credit card company later. Do you take credit card? Do you take credit card? Do you take credit card? Key. 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 So a key is the object that we use to unlock doors or to unlock other things. I lost my car key. I lost my car key. I lost my car key. Driver's license. Driver's license. Driver's license. A driver's license is a certification we receive that explains that we are able to drive a car legally. Do you have a driver's license? Do you have a driver's license? Do you have a driver's license? Forest. 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 A forest is a very large natural area. It's filled with trees, plants, animals, and everything is wild. The raccoon is eating peanuts in the forest. The raccoon is eating peanuts in the forest. The raccoon is eating peanuts in the forest. River. 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 So a river is another natural feature. A river refers to water, often that comes from a mountain top or another natural source, and moves down into lower elevations. The grizzly bear is running in the river. The grizzly bear is running in the river. The grizzly bear is running in the river. Ocean. 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 So the ocean is that very, very large body of water that covers most of the planet Earth. The sun sets behind the blue ocean. The sun sets behind the blue ocean. The sun sets behind the blue ocean. Lake. 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 A lake is a smaller body of water, though it can be very large. Lakes can be very large. They are surrounded by land. The swan is swimming in the lake. The swan is swimming in the lake. The swan is swimming in the lake. Document. 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 Document can be used as both a noun and a verb. As a noun, it means paperwork. As a verb, we use it to mean make a record of information. She signed the document and returned it. She signed the document and returned it. She signed the document and returned it. Computer. 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 So a computer is a very common machine. Most of the time, when we say computer, we mean like our personal computer, like our laptop, or something similar. But we also have small computers in things like our smartphones as well. I have a new computer. I have a new computer. I have a new computer. Fax machine. Fax machine. Fax machine. A fax machine is kind of an older type of machine. We use these kinds of machines to send faxes. So we send copies of documents of paperwork to other fax machines in other locations. Do you have a fax machine? Do you have a fax machine? Do you have a fax machine? Printer. 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 A printer is a very common machine. We use printers to create physical versions of digital documents, images, and other things. The printer at the office is broken. The printer at the office is broken. The printer at the office is broken. Mechanical pencil. Mechanical pencil. 
Mechanical pencil. A mechanical pencil is a type of pencil that you can push on to get more lead. Lead is the material that we use with pencils. A mechanical one does not require sharpening at all. The red mechanical pencil has a green eraser. The red mechanical pencil has a green eraser. The red mechanical pencil has a green eraser. Ruler. 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 A ruler is a tool we use to measure things. These are very stiff pieces of plastic or perhaps metal sometimes that we use to make straight lines and to see how long or how wide things are. I use a ruler to draw lines. I use a ruler to draw lines. I use a ruler to draw lines. Marker. 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 A marker is something we use to write on surfaces like a whiteboard. So a marker can be erased. You might also see kids using markers to color things in coloring books. The marker is running low on ink. The marker is running low on ink. The marker is running low on ink. Bank. 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 A bank is a place where your money is managed. You can open an account, you can transfer money, you can do many things with money at a bank. Is there a bank near here? Is there a bank near here? Is there a bank near here? Convenience store. Convenience store. Convenience store. A convenience store is usually a small store, often in a very、uh, easy to access part of the neighborhood, and they have daily goods, snacks, and other small things that you might need. Go to the convenience store and buy some milk. Go to the convenience store and buy some milk. Go to the convenience store and buy some milk. Hospital. 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 A hospital is a place that you go to to receive medical care. She works in a hospital. She works in a hospital. She works in a hospital. Help. 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 We use the verb help in emergency situations, and we also use it when someone gives us their assistance. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your help. Learn. 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 We use the verb learn to describe our studies. Keep in mind when we use this in past tense, it refers to something we have completed. Learn something new. Learn something new. Learn something new. Move. 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 So the verb move refers to any kind of action that's moving from one direction to another. We also use this verb to talk about moving from one house to another house. The alligators are slowly moving through the water. The alligators are slowly moving through the water. The alligators are slowly moving through the water. Seventeen. 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 Seventeen is the number that comes after sixteen. His daughter is seventeen years old. His daughter is seventeen years old. His daughter is seventeen years old. Eighteen. 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 Eighteen is the number after seventeen. This number has special importance in the USA because it's the age at which people get the right to vote. He's eighteen years old. He's eighteen years old. He's eighteen years old. Nineteen. 
Nineteen. Nineteen. Nineteen is the number after eighteen and before twenty. There are nineteen books here. There are nineteen books here. There are nineteen books here. Twenty. 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 So twenty is the number after nineteen. He's been my friend for twenty years. He has been my friend for twenty years. He has been my friend for twenty years. Neck. 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 So your neck is this part of the body, the part of the body between your head and your shoulders. I've got a pain in my neck. I've got a pain in my neck. I've got a pain in my neck. Face. 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 So the face is this part of the body. Your face includes your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your cheeks. This is all your face. Can you show me your funniest face? Can you show me your funniest face? Can you show me your funniest face? Ear. 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 The ear is the part of the body that we use to hear. We have two ears. I have two ears. I have two ears. I have two ears. Hair. 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 So hair is anything on the body that's similar to this. It can be long hair. It can be short hair. We also use the same word to talk about hair on an animal. The woman has black hair. The woman has black hair. The woman has black hair. Mountain. 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 Mountain is a large part of the landscape, often that has snow at the top. Keep in mind when you pronounce this word in fast speech, it sounds like mountain. The T sound is reduced. The little town was nestled in the mountains. The little town was nestled in the mountains. The little town was nestled in the mountains. Beach. 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 So the beach is the area where the land meets the ocean. You might hear people talking about doing activities at the beach, which refers to the general location, or on the beach, which refers to activities on the surface of the beach. There's a lifeguard at the beach. There's a lifeguard at the beach. There's a lifeguard at the beach. Rainforest. 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 So a rainforest is different from just a forest because a rainforest is a forest in a very humid or a very tropical location. Thailand has many rainforests. Thailand has many rainforests. Thailand has many rainforests. Island. 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 An island is a portion of land or a piece of land that is completely surrounded by water. So, like Japan is an island. An island is surrounded by water. An island is surrounded by water. An island is surrounded by water. Dictionary. 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 A dictionary is a very large book or online. It's a resource that you can use to check the meanings of words. I bought this dictionary for you. I bought this dictionary for you. I bought this dictionary for you. Blue. 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 
The color blue is a very basic color. We commonly associate the color blue with things that are cold or cool. The sky is bright blue. The sky is bright blue. The sky is bright blue. Yellow. 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 The color yellow is very bright, and we associate this with cheerful feelings. Hannah has a yellow hat. Hannah has a yellow hat. Hannah has a yellow hat. Orange. 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 So the color orange is another very bright color. You may also know the fruit called an orange. It is orange in color. Red mixed with yellow becomes orange. Red mixed with yellow becomes orange. Red mixed with yellow becomes orange. Color. 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 So, color can be used as a noun and as a verb. In this case, we're going to talk about it as a noun, which refers to any type of color. I got the wrong color. I got the wrong color. I got the wrong color. White. 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 So, white is another very basic color. The color white is commonly associated with purity. It is difficult to keep white furniture clean. It is difficult to keep white furniture clean. It is difficult to keep white furniture clean. Red. 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 Red is a very popular color. This color is associated with passion and also emergencies. A glass of red wine, please. A glass of red wine, please. A glass of red wine, please. Green. 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 The color green is very commonly associated with nature and the environment. He painted the wall green. He painted the wall green. He painted the wall green. Finish. 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 The verb finish means to do something to the end, to do something to completion. Did you finish your homework? Did you finish your homework? Did you finish your homework? Start. 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 So the verb to start is the opposite of finish. It means to begin something. It means to do the first thing in a process. My new job starts tomorrow. My new job starts tomorrow. My new job starts tomorrow. Become. 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 So the verb become is used to refer to one thing turning into another thing. Red mixed with yellow becomes orange. Red mixed with yellow becomes orange. Red mixed with yellow becomes orange. Fourteen. 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 The number fourteen is the number after thirteen. I have fourteen students. I have fourteen students. I have fourteen students. Fifteen. 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 The number fifteen is the number that comes after fourteen. I will be in Thailand for 15 days. I will be in Thailand for 15 days. I will be in Thailand for 15 days. 16. 16. 16. The number 16 comes after 15.
Sixteen is considered a special age in the USA because it's the age at which people can get their first driver's license. We have sixteen minutes. We have sixteen minutes. We have sixteen minutes. Telephone. 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 So the telephone is the machine that we use to call people. We commonly shorten this word to phone. The telephone is ringing. The telephone is ringing. The telephone is ringing. I. 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 So the I or Our eyes. This is the part of the body that we use to see. This is a countable noun. We can talk about one eye or two eyes. My eyes are dry. My eyes are dry. My eyes are dry. Teeth. 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 So your teeth are the part of the body inside the mouth that we use to chew things. This is the plural version of tooth. One tooth, two or more teeth. Did you brush your teeth? Did you brush your teeth? Did you brush your teeth? Lip. 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 So the lip is the part of the body that is at the edge of the mouth. Lips are very important for making proper pronunciation. You have something on your lip. You have something on your lip. You have something on your lip. Copy machine. Copy machine. Copy machine. So a copy machine is a very common machine that you have in an office. We use a copy machine to make copies of documents. Can I use the copy machine? Can I use the copy machine? Can I use the copy machine? Desk. 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 A desk is a piece of furniture that most people have in their office or in their schools, and we use it for work. We use it for work or for study. The books are under the desk. The books are under the desk. The books are under the desk. Book. 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 So a book is something that you read. It's a story or other kinds of topics on paper. You might also have many textbooks in your home. There are some old books on the table. There are some old books on the table. There are some old books on the table. Pen. 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 A pen is something that we use to write. Unlike a pencil, a pen uses ink. It's a pen. It's a pen. It's a pen. Post office. Post office. Post office. The post office is the place where you go in your city or your community to send mail to someone else. The post office is open until 5 p.m. The post office is open until 5 p.m. The post office is open until 5 p.m. Library. 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 A library is a place where you can rent books. Your library might also have DVDs or other media available to rent. The library is over there. The library is over there. The library is over there. Supermarket. 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 The supermarket is the place you go to buy food. You might also be able to find other daily goods like cleaning goods at a supermarket. This supermarket is very cheap. This supermarket is very cheap. 
This supermarket is very cheap. Helicopter. 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 So a helicopter is similar to an airplane. It flies, but there's one propeller on top of it. The CEO travels to work by helicopter. The CEO travels to work by helicopter. The CEO travels to work by helicopter. Black. 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 Black is a color, or rather, black is the absence of color. It's the darkest color that we have. I have a black cat. I have a black cat. I have a black cat. Brown. 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 So brown is a very natural color. It's very common on hair color and an eye color. My hair color is brown, for example. My uncle has a new pair of brown shoes. My uncle has a new pair of brown shoes. My uncle has a new pair of brown shoes. Gray. 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 So gray is a very neutral color. It's between white and black. Gray is not a very flashy color. Gray is not a very flashy color. Gray is not a very flashy color. Rest. 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 So rest is a verb that means to take a break. You can use it any time you need to stop what you're doing for a short period. I'm just resting. I'm just resting. I'm just resting. Here. 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 So the verb here is used for any time you need to use your ears to receive information. So this means you're not focusing your attention, but information can enter your ear. I can barely hear you. I can barely hear you. I can barely hear you. Want. 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 So the verb want is used to express a desire for something. We use it to talk about the things we would like to receive. I want to eat cherries. I want to eat cherries. I want to eat cherries. Disgusting. 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 Disgusting is an adjective. We'd use it to describe things that we think are really, really terrible, especially food or maybe even comments, things that we think are really unacceptable. Cockroaches are disgusting. Cockroaches are disgusting. Cockroaches are disgusting. Eleven. 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 Eleven is the number that comes after ten. This department store has eleven floors. This department store has eleven floors. This department store has eleven floors. Twelve. 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 So twelve is the number that comes after eleven. Twelve can also be called a dozen. When we refer to a dozen of something, we mean twelve of something. It's twelve o'clock. It's twelve o'clock. It's twelve o'clock. Thirteen. 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 Thirteen is the number that comes after twelve. For many people, thirteen is an unlucky number. So you might hear people having suspicions around this number. She's thirteen years old. She's thirteen years old. She is thirteen years old. Email. 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 
So email is a very common part of everyday life. Email comes from electronic and mail together. What's your email address? What's your email address? What's your email address? Cellular phone. Cellular phone. Cellular phone. So a cellular phone is a very common thing that many people have. We often shorten this expression to cell phone. With a cellular phone, you can make calls from almost anywhere. With a cellular phone, you can make calls from almost anywhere. With a cellular phone, you can make calls from almost anywhere. Text message. Text message. Text message. So a text message is any message that you send by writing text. We commonly shorten this expression to just text. She contacted me via text message. She contacted me via text message. She contacted me via text message. Mouth. 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 So the mouth is part of the body. It's this part. We use it for eating and for speaking. You may also hear mouth used to talk about the part of the river that connects to the ocean. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Cheek. 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 So the cheek, or cheeks, refers to this part of the body, this part of the face. So we have two cheeks. It's a countable noun. Her cheeks are very red. Her cheeks are very red. Her cheeks are very red. Nose. 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 So the nose is another part of the body. It's this part of the body right here, the nose. My nose is stuffy. My nose is stuffy. My nose is stuffy. Notebook. 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 So a notebook is usually a small book we carry around and we write notes in it, hence the name notebook. I have a separate notebook for each class. I have a separate notebook for each class. I have a separate notebook for each class. Pencil. 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 A pencil is something that we use to write. This is a common uh, analog tool that we use to write. Lots of school children use these. The pencil broke in half. The pencil broke in half. The pencil broke in half. Eraser. 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 So an eraser is a tool that we use to remove pencil marks. In some cases, you might find pens that also have erasers, which can remove pen marks. Can I use your eraser? Can I use your eraser? Can I use your eraser? Dog. 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 A dog is a very popular and very common pet. We see small dogs and big dogs. Is that your dog? Is that your dog? Is that your dog? Cat. 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 Cats are also very, very popular pets. We see cats that have very short fur and cats that have long, fluffy fur. My cat likes to take a nap in the afternoon. My cat likes to take a nap in the afternoon. My cat likes to take a nap in the afternoon. Hamster. 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 So a hamster is a very small pet. It's kind of popular among very young children. Hamsters like to sleep during the day. Hamsters like to sleep during the day. Hamsters like to sleep during the day. Warm. 
warm. Warm. We use warm to describe a temperature that's not quite hot, that's a little bit pleasant, but it's not cool either. The soup must be warm. The soup must be warm. The soup must be warm. Rain. 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 We use the word rain to talk about the water that falls from the sky. The rain is falling on the street. The rain is falling on the street. The rain is falling on the street. Tomato. 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 A tomato is a red fruit. They're very common in salads. There are very large tomatoes or smaller tomatoes as well. My grandfather grows tomatoes in his garden. My grandfather grows tomatoes in his garden. My grandfather grows tomatoes in his garden. Strawberry. 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 A strawberry is a very sweet red berry that's very common in desserts. I like strawberry, not apple. I like strawberry, not apple. I like strawberry, not apple. Cherry. 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 So a cherry is another small, sweet red berry, or not really a berry, more of a small fruit that you can eat. Uh, you can typically have them in one bite. I want to eat cherries. I want to eat cherries. I want to eat cherries. Child. 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 So a child is someone who is not an adult. Uh, usually around the age of 15, 14 or so, they kind of start to become like an adult. When I was a child, I used to ride my bike to school every day. When I was a child, I used to ride my bike to school every day. When I was a child, I used to ride my bike to school every day. Friend. 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 So a friend is someone that we are close to, we can share our experiences with and enjoy spending time together. I met a friend at the park. I met a friend at the park. I met a friend at the park. Adult. 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 So an adult is someone who is a grown person. Uh, in your country, maybe an adult is 18 years old or 20 years old or 21 years old, but an adult is someone who can be responsible for themselves. Sometimes being an adult just isn't very fun. Sometimes being an adult just isn't very fun. Sometimes being an adult just isn't very fun. Bicycle. 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 A bicycle is a mode of transportation. It's popular with kids, it's popular with adults. You can ride easily around your city or your neighborhood with a bicycle. The bicycle is in the garage. The bicycle is in the garage. The bicycle is in the garage. Car. 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 A car is a very common mode of transportation in North America. Many people have their own car. What kind of car is it? What kind of car is it? What kind of car is it? Motorcycle. 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 So a motorcycle is like a bicycle with an engine. Usually one person or maybe two people can ride a motorcycle. He has two cars and a motorcycle. He has two cars and a motorcycle. He has two cars and a motorcycle. Scooter. 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 So a scooter is a little bit shorter than a motorcycle. It's something you can sit on and there are places to put your feet on either side and you can ride it around your city or your neighborhood.
Scooters are convenient in the city. Scooters are convenient in the city. Scooters are convenient in the city. Boat. 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 So a boat refers to a method of transportation for water. You can use a rowboat, a very old-fashioned style boat, or very, very large, expensive boats called yachts. The boat floats on the water. The boat floats on the water. The boat floats on the water. Jellyfish. 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 So a jellyfish is an undersea creature. Some of them can be dangerous. They may sting people as a way to defend themselves against attacks. The jellyfish are bobbing in the water. The jellyfish are bobbing in the water. The jellyfish are bobbing in the water. Lobster. 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 So a lobster is another sea creature. Lobsters are very popular because they are delicious. Lobsters are very expensive. Lobsters are very expensive. Lobsters are very expensive. Crab. 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 So a crab is another sea creature. Crabs typically have very large pinchers and they walk in this motion. They walk from side to side. Crabs usually walk sideways. Crabs usually walk sideways. Crabs usually walk sideways. Turtle. 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 So a turtle is another water-based creature. Turtles are known for being very, very slow and they have a hard shell to protect them. The sea turtle is swimming in the sea. The sea turtle is swimming in the sea. The sea turtle is swimming in the sea. Banana. 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 Bananas are a very popular fruit. They are yellow in color and you peel them to open them. This banana is really sweet. This banana is really sweet. This banana is really sweet. Apple. 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 Apples are very popular fruits. You can usually find them in red or in green colors. I'm peeling an apple. I'm peeling an apple. I'm peeling an apple. Grape. 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 So a grape is another type of fruit. You usually find them in purple or in green colors. That grape looks pretty old. That grape looks pretty old. That grape looks pretty old. Watermelon. 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 So a watermelon is a very large fruit. It's green on the outside and pink on the inside. She bought a huge watermelon. She bought a huge watermelon. She bought a huge watermelon. Bird. 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 So a bird is a creature that can fly through the sky. It has wings and feathers. We listen to the birds. We listen to the birds. We listened to the birds. Mouse. 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 So a mouse is a very small creature. Some people consider it a rodent, so it's not wanted. The mouse is eating grass. The mouse is eating grass. The mouse is eating grass. Sun. 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 So the sun is the star that's closest to Earth and it gives us sunshine. Today the sun is shining. Today the sun is shining. Today the sun is shining. Weather. 
weather. Weather. So weather just refers to the outside conditions, the conditions in nature. This weather is awful. This weather is awful. This weather is awful. Degree. 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 So the word degree is the word we use for that small circle next to Celsius or Fahrenheit when we talk about the temperature. It is one degree outside. It is one degree outside. It is one degree outside. Woman. 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 So woman refers to one person, one woman. When talking about more than one woman, we use women. The woman is wearing a black sweater. The woman is wearing a black sweater. The woman is wearing a black sweater. Man. 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 So a man refers to one male person. When we want to talk about more than one male person, we say men. The director is a very serious man. The director is a very serious man. The director is a very serious man. Girlfriend. 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 So the word girlfriend can be used to refer to your romantic partner who is a girl. We can also use it to talk about female friends. Your girlfriend is one year older than you, right? Your girlfriend is one year older than you, right? Your girlfriend is one year older than you, right? Boyfriend. 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 So the word boyfriend is used to refer to a male romantic partner. We do not typically use this word to talk about our male friends, though. She'll go to the Prince Islands with her boyfriend. She'll go to the Prince Islands with her boyfriend. She'll go to the Prince Islands with her boyfriend. Train. 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 So a train is a large kind of public transportation that we use to travel quickly inside cities and between cities. What time is the last train? What time is the last train? What time is the last train? Airplane. 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 So airplanes are the mode of transportation that fly. We often call them planes as well. The passengers flew on the airplane. The passengers flew on the airplane. The passengers flew on the airplane. Bus. 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 So a bus is like a large car. We typically use it to transport people inside cities or between cities on the road. He rides the bus. He rides the bus. He rides the bus. Taxi. 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 A taxi is a single car that you can rent, so you need to pay money to use a taxi to travel in a city. Give me a call after you get in the taxi. Give me a call after you get in the taxi. Give me a call after you get in the taxi. Spinach. 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 So spinach is a very healthy food. It's leafy and green and popular for salads. Spinach is a rich source of iron and calcium. Spinach is a rich source of iron and calcium. Spinach is a rich source of iron and calcium. Dolphin. 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 A dolphin is a very smart undersea animal, and they're very popular because they're very cute, and it sounds like they're talking to people sometimes. The dolphin jumps out of the water. 
The dolphin jumps out of the water. The dolphin jumps out of the water. Squid. 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 So a squid is another undersea creature. Sometimes they're small, but in other cases, in special cases, they are enormous. There are giant squid as well. I can't eat squid. I can't eat squid. I can't eat squid. Happy. 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 We use happy to describe our mood. We use this word when we are feeling positive. I am a happy person. I am a happy person. I am a happy person. Sad. 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 So the word sad is used to describe our feelings when we are feeling down or low. The sad teenager is sitting alone. The sad teenager is sitting alone. The sad teenager is sitting alone. Angry. 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 The word angry also refers to our emotions. We use it in times when we feel upset or very unhappy about something. There was something that made me angry this morning. There was something that made me angry this morning. There was something that made me angry this morning. Clothing. 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 Clothing is a word that's used to refer to anything we wear. This can mean coats, pants, jackets, shirts, hats, whatever. I worked at a clothing store. I worked at a clothing store. I worked at a clothing store. Shoe. 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 So a shoe is something you wear on your foot. I need new shoes. I need new shoes. I need new shoes. Sock. 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 A sock is something that you wear between your shoe and your foot, usually. You wear heavy socks often in winter. Are you wearing socks? Are you wearing socks? Are you wearing socks? Underwear. 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 So underwear refers to the clothing we wear under the clothes we can see. My socks and underwear are in the top drawer of my dresser. My socks and underwear are in the top drawer of my dresser. My socks and underwear are in the top drawer of my dresser. Talk. 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 We use the verb talk when we want to refer to a conversation, so two or more people are participating. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Give. 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 We use the verb give when we want to provide someone with something else. Can I give you a useful tip? Can I give you a useful tip? Can I give you a useful tip? Low. 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 We use the word low to talk about something that is not high. This is the opposite of high. So it's something near the ground. This table is too low for me. This table is too low for me. This table is too low for me. High. 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 So the word high is the opposite of the word low. It refers to something that is far away from the ground. The waves are high today. The waves are high today. The waves are high today. 
fruit, fruit, fruit. So fruit refers to a category of food. So fruits tend to be rather sweet. Please put the fruits on the plate. Please put the fruits on the plate. Please put the fruits on the plate. Octopus. 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 So an octopus is a very interesting animal with eight legs. Uh, some cultures like to eat octopus. The octopus is swimming in the ocean. The octopus is swimming in the ocean. The octopus is swimming in the ocean. Shark. 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 So a shark is for many people a very scary undersea creature. Some of them are huge and can eat people. The surfer was bitten by a shark. The surfer was bitten by a shark. The surfer was bitten by a shark. Whale. 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 So whales are typically very, very large creatures that live under the sea. Some are peaceful, some are aggressive. Whales are mammals. Whales are mammals. Whales are mammals. Cloudy. 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 So cloudy refers to weather. It's used on days when there are many clouds in the sky. I don't like cloudy days. I don't like cloudy days. I don't like cloudy days. Cool. 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 We use cool when the weather is not like cold, but it feels a little bit nice actually still. The weather is cool. The weather is cool. The weather is cool. Cucumber. 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 So a cucumber is a food that we can eat. It's something that's healthy and usually pretty refreshing. These cucumbers are fresh. These cucumbers are fresh. These cucumbers are fresh. Bell pepper. Bell pepper. Bell pepper. So a bell pepper is another food that many people like to eat. Sometimes they're a little bit bitter. The most common bell peppers are green, red, or yellow. The most common bell peppers are green, red, or yellow. The most common bell peppers are green, red, or yellow. Broccoli. 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 Broccoli is another very healthy food. Lots of kids really don't like it though. Order the broccoli soup. Order the broccoli soup. Order the broccoli soup. Shirt, shirt, shirt. So a shirt is a piece of clothing that we wear on the top part of our body. There are 10 shirts in the closet. There are 10 shirts in the closet. There are 10 shirts in the closet. Pants, pants, pants. So pants, that's a piece of clothing that we wear on the lower part of our body. It covers our legs. Your pants are bigger than mine. Your pants are bigger than mine. Your pants are bigger than mine. Dress. 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 So a dress is something that's worn over the entire body. It usually covers from the shoulders to around the knee area, but it can go further. I regret not buying that dress. I regret not buying that dress. I regret not buying that dress. Say. 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 
We use say for simple reports of speech. I was just going to say that. I was just going to say that. I was just going to say that. Call. 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 We use the verb call when we want to make a phone call to someone. Please give me a call tomorrow morning. Please give me a call tomorrow morning. Please give me a call tomorrow morning. Find. 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 We use the word find when we talk about the moment we discover something. How did you find the cell phone? How did you find the cell phone? How did you find the cell phone? Clean. 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 So the word clean can be used as an adjective or it can be used as a verb. It refers to making something nice. We aim for a clean environment. We aim for a clean environment. We aim for a clean environment. Dirty. 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 So the word dirty is used to refer to something that is not clean. The fork is on the dirty plate. The fork is on the dirty plate. The fork is on the dirty plate. Carrot. 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 So a carrot is a very common vegetable. It's orange, maybe about this size. We can have small ones as well. Kids do not like carrots. Kids do not like carrots. Kids do not like carrots. Onion. 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 So an onion is a very common cooking ingredient. When you cut them, it will make you cry. I don't cry when I cut onions. I don't cry when I cut onions. I don't cry when I cut onions. Lettuce. 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 So lettuce is very commonly used in salads. It's a leafy green vegetable. My salad only has lettuce and tomato. My salad only has lettuce and tomato. My salad only has lettuce and tomato. Sheep. 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 So a sheep is a kind of farm animal. We get lots of things from them, such as milk and wool as well. The sheep is eating the green grass. The sheep is eating the green grass. The sheep is eating the green grass. Rabbit. 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 So a rabbit is a very small, cute animal uh, that's known for hopping around. Your rabbit is very cute. Your rabbit is very cute. Your rabbit is very cute. Seal. 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 So a seal is an ocean animal. They can be big or a little small. They kind of look like dogs sometimes in the ocean. Seals live in the coldest areas. Seals live in the coldest areas. Seals live in the coldest areas. Cloud. 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 So clouds are those usually white or gray kind of fluffy things we see in the sky. I can't see any clouds today. I can't see any clouds today. I can't see any clouds today. Sunny. 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 Sunny is the word that we use to talk about a day with lots of sunshine. I often go on a picnic on a sunny day. I often go on a picnic on a sunny day. 
I often go on a picnic on a sunny day. Rainy. 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 Rainy is used to talk about weather, so we use it for days when water is falling from the sky. It'll be rainy this Saturday. It'll be rainy this Saturday. It will be rainy this Saturday. Baby. 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 Baby is the word we use to describe a very small creature. We can use it for humans, and we can use it for animals. The baby sleeps on the blanket. The baby sleeps on the blanket. The baby sleeps on the blanket. Girl. 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 So a girl is someone who is born as a female. The girl washes her face. The girl washes her face. The girl washes her face. Boy. 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 The word boy refers to someone who is born as a male. The boy fell down from the tree. The boy fell down from the tree. The boy fell down from the tree. Watch, watch, watch. So when we use watch to talk about a noun, it's referring to the clock you can wear on your wrist. Do you have a watch? Do you have a watch? Do you have a watch? Glasses. 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 So glasses are eyewear. We wear glasses so that we can see better or so that we can block the sun from our eyes. I don't wear glasses. I don't wear glasses. I don't wear glasses. Jacket. 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 So a jacket is usually a light piece of clothing.、Uh, it keeps you a little bit warmer in autumn or maybe in spring. That jacket looks nice on you. That jacket looks nice on you. That jacket looks nice on you. Receive. 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 So to receive something means to get something. Get sounds a little bit more casual than receive. To receive a confession of love. To receive a confession of love. To receive a confession of love. Search. 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 So the word search means to look for, to look for something. Search tends to sound a little bit more formal than look for. It'll show up if you search on the internet. It'll show up if you search on the internet. It will show up if you search on the internet. Take. 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 So take means to remove something from another place or to choose something. Please take me home. Please take me home. Please take me home. Week. 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 So this word is the opposite of the word strong. It means something that doesn't have a lot of power. A weak team. A weak team. A weak team. Strong. 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 So strong is the opposite of weak. Strong refers to something that has lots and lots of power. Be strong and don't give up. Be strong and don't give up. Be strong and don't give up. Cold. Cold. 
cold. So the word cold typically refers to temperature. When the temperature is low, we describe the feeling as cold. The North Pole is cold even in summer. The North Pole is cold even in summer. The North Pole is cold even in summer. Hot. 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 So hot is the opposite of cold. Hot is used when the temperatures are warm. The temperatures are very, very high. We describe the feeling with hot. The tea is still hot. The tea is still hot. The tea is still hot. Funny. 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 So the word funny refers to something that causes us to laugh. Funny sitcoms make me happy. Funny sitcoms make me happy. Funny sitcoms make me happy. Peach. 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 So a peach is a well-known fruit. It's kind of sweet. I'm allergic to peaches. I'm allergic to peaches. I am allergic to peaches. Orange. 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 So orange can refer to the fruit or it can refer to the color orange. I drink orange juice in the morning. I drink orange juice in the morning. I drink orange juice in the morning. Potato. 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 So a potato is a very, very popular food. We make all kinds of things with potatoes, french fries, mashed potatoes, and so on. Fried potato is not good for your health. Fried potato is not good for your health. Fried potato is not good for your health. Soybean. 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 So a soybean is an ingredient that people may use to create other things, like milk, for example. Soybeans grow inside the pods. Soybeans grow inside the pods. Soybeans grow inside the pods. Vegetable. 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 So a vegetable is a food that's good for you. So there are many different kinds of vegetables, carrots, zucchinis, so on. I ate fried vegetables. I ate fried vegetables. I ate fried vegetables. Cow. 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 So a cow is a farm animal. We use cows for dairy and for milk and for beef. The cows are grazing in the field. The cows are grazing in the field. The cows are grazing in the field. Pig. 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 A pig is another farm animal, usually very low to the ground and pink or kind of gray in color. We use these for meat. Pigs are intelligent animals. Pigs are intelligent animals. Pigs are intelligent animals. Horse. 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 So a horse, another farm animal, is used a lot more for entertainment, for like racing activities. Have you ever ridden a horse before? Have you ever ridden a horse before? Have you ever ridden a horse before? Snow. 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 So snow is a type of weather. It's precipitation, so that means it's rain, it's water from the sky, but that is frozen. There's a lot of snow on the mountain. There's a lot of snow on the mountain. There is a lot of snow on the mountain. Hand. 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 
So your hand, it's a part of your body. This part of your body is your hand. Left hand. Left hand. Left hand. Arm. 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 So the arm is this part of your body from here to the end of your hand. Muscular arm. Muscular arm. Muscular arm. Foot. 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 So your foot, just one, is the part of your body that's at the very, very bottom. Right foot. Right foot. Right foot. Leg. 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 So your leg is the entire long part of your body, one leg that you walk on. Long legs. Long legs. Long legs. Finger. 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 So your fingers are these parts of your body. So finger is a countable noun. We count it one finger, two finger, three fingers, and so on. Pinky finger. Pinky finger. Pinky finger. Back. 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 So your back is like the reverse part of your body. We think of this as the front part. Our back is behind us. My back hurts. My back hurts. My back hurts. Stomach. 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 So your stomach is the part of your body that digests food. So we often talk about our stomach because it feels uncomfortable. My stomach hurts. My stomach hurts. My stomach hurts. Chest. 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 So your chest is the upper part of the front of your body. I have chest pains. I have chest pains. I have chest pains. January. 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 January is the first month of the year. In North America, it is typically a cold month. It's very cold here in January. It's very cold here in January. It's very cold here in January. February. 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 So February has an interesting spelling. That first R isn't really pronounced. February is the shortest month with 28 days. February is the shortest month with 28 days. February is the shortest month with 28 days. March. 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 March is the third month of the year. We think of March as the time when spring begins. It is now April, so last month was March. It is now April, so last month was March. It is now April, so last month was March. April. 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 April is the fourth month of the year, and we think of this as a time when flowers start to bloom. April showers bring May flowers. April showers bring May flowers. April showers bring May flowers. May. 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 May is the fifth month of the year. We think of May as just the time before summer. So the weather is typically really, really nice and spring is in full, like, bloom. 
May 31st is World No Smoking Day. May 31st is World No Smoking Day. May 31st is World No Smoking Day. June. 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 June is the sixth month of the year. It feels a little bit warmer than May, but it's not quite summer. A warm June. A warm June. A warm June. July. 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 So July, the seventh month of the year, is typically when many people think of summer as beginning in the U.S. July is one of seven months with 31 days. July is one of seven months with 31 days. July is one of seven months with 31 days. August. 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 August, the eighth month of the year, tends to be quite hot, and there's a lot of fun summer activities to do. The school is closed in August. The school is closed in August. The school is closed in August. September. 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 September is kind of the beginning of fall or autumn, and it's also typically the time of year when students go back to school. Today is Saturday, September 10th. Today is Saturday, September 10th. Today is Saturday, September 10th. October. 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 So October is when the weather gets a little bit cooler and we start to see some popular autumn foods appearing. Halloween falls on October 31st. Halloween falls on October 31st. Halloween falls on October 31st. November. 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 So November is very well known in the U.S. for having Thanksgiving when we enjoy a huge meal with family or friends. November is one of four months with 30 days. November is one of four months with 30 days. November is one of four months with 30 days. December. 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 December is the last month of the year, and we think of it as a time for celebration. December 31st is New Year's Eve. December 31st is New Year's Eve. December 31st is New Year's Eve. Can. 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 So, can is used to mean something we are able to do. Can jump over. Can jump over. Can jump over. Zero. 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 So zero is used to refer to the number, which means nothing. So we also read this as O sometimes. Number zero. Number zero. Number zero. One, one, one. So one means the first number. So we use it anytime there's a single number of something. One degree, one degree, one degree. Two, two, two. So two is the second number. We use it to talk about pairs or couples of things. The number two is my favorite number. The number two is my favorite number. The number two is my favorite number. Three. Three. 
three. So the third number in English is the number three. Three dollars. Three dollars. Three dollars. Four. 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 So the fourth number in English is the number four. Keep in mind that the spelling is different from F O R, which means a purpose. Number four. Number four. Number four. Five. 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 So the next number is the number five. The starfish has five legs. The starfish has five legs. The starfish has five legs. Six. 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 So the next number in our sequence is the number six. We have a six-day vacation next month. We have a six-day vacation next month. We have a six-day vacation next month. Seven. 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 So the next number in this sequence is the number seven. There are seven days in every week. There are seven days in every week. There are seven days in every week. Eight. 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 So the next number is the number eight. This has an interesting spelling. It's pronounced eight. Eight is a lucky number. Eight is a lucky number. Eight is a lucky number. Nine. 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 So the next number in this series is the number nine. Nine floors. Nine floors. Nine floors. Ten. 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 So ten is the first double digit number. That means there are two digits, one and zero. Ten grams. Ten grams. Ten grams. Salesman. 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 So a salesman is a male, a man who sells things. Car salesman. Car salesman. Car salesman. Manager. 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 So a manager is a person at a workplace that is responsible for other people. Department manager. Department manager. Department manager. Cook. 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 So a cook is a person who makes food. A cook is different from a chef in that a chef went to school. A cook has their experience on the job. The cook fried an egg. The cook fried an egg. The cook fried an egg. Engineer. 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 So an engineer is a technology-related job. An engineer can create things in many different industries. I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer. I am an engineer. Programmer. 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 So a programmer is a person who writes or who creates programs. I am a computer programmer. I'm a computer programmer. I am a computer programmer. Nurse. 
nurse. Nurse. So a nurse is someone who works at a hospital or a clinic or at like a nursing home. So they help patients. The woman is a nurse. The woman is a nurse. The woman is a nurse. Body. 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 So a body can be a human body. It's just your actual body, all of your different parts. We can also use this for animals too. Food is fuel for the body. Food is fuel for the body. Food is fuel for the body. Head. 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 So, head refers to this part of your body, the very top part of your body. Head injuries are very dangerous. Head injuries are very dangerous. Head injuries are very dangerous. Laugh. 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 So laugh can be used as either a noun or as a verb. So we use this when we find something funny. The couple is laughing at a joke. The couple is laughing at a joke. The couple is laughing at a joke. Delicious. 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 So delicious is a word we use when we think something tastes good. We can use this for food or drinks. Chinese food is delicious. Chinese food is delicious. Chinese food is delicious. Water. 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 So water is just the word we use for the thing we drink, the most basic thing to drink. Can I have some water, please? Can I have some water, please? Can I have some water, please? Tea. 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 So tea is another very popular drink. You can have it cold or hot. Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Coffee. 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 Coffee is yet another very popular drink. Uh, we usually have this in the morning. Cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Beer. 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 So beer, yet another very popular drink for adults. We usually enjoy beer after work. Cold beer. Cold beer. Cold beer. Wine. 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 So wine is something that we tend to enjoy with kind of special occasions or we like to pair it with foods. Glass of wine. Glass of wine. Glass of wine. Beef. 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 So beef refers to meat that comes from a cow. This can mean anything that comes from a cow. Beef steak. Beef steak. Beef steak. Chicken. 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 So chicken refers to the animal, but also the meat. When you want to talk about one like of the animal, you can say a chicken. Chicken can be fried, baked, or roasted. Chicken can be fried, baked, or roasted. Chicken can be fried, baked, or roasted. Pork. 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 
So pork is another very popular meat. We often have it at breakfast as bacon, or maybe in the evening as like a pork chop. Pork is the meat from a pig. Pork is the meat from a pig. Pork is the meat from a pig. Fish. 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 So fish is anything that comes from the ocean, anything that comes from the ocean or from other bodies of water. Chicken or fish. Chicken or fish. Chicken or fish. Lamb. 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 So lamb refers to meat that comes from a baby sheep. Lamb is extremely delicious. Lamb is extremely delicious. Lamb is extremely delicious. Doctor. 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 So a doctor is a person who helps other people with their health. If you get sick, go to the doctor. If you get sick, go to the doctor. If you get sick, go to the doctor. Police officer. Police officer. Police officer. So a police officer is someone in a city that helps other people when they are in trouble. I'll ask a police officer for help. I'll ask a police officer for help. I'll ask a police officer for help. Teacher. 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 So a teacher is someone who shares information, who helps students or other people to learn something. English teacher. English teacher. English teacher. Employee. 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 An employee is someone who works at a company or someone who works for someone else. Female employee. Female employee. Female employee. Come. 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 So we use the verb come to mean to move from one location to the place where we are now. The girl came towards the video camera. The girl came towards the video camera. The girl came towards the video camera. See. 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 So we use the verb see to mean to use our eyes to focus on something. The tourist saw the sunset. The tourists saw the sunset. The tourists saw the sunset. Make. 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 We use the verb make when we talk about creating something. The chef makes orange juice. The chef makes orange juice. The chef makes orange juice. Use. 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 So we use the verb use when we want to talk about like applying something or we want to talk about uh, utilizing something for something else. The programmer used the computer. The programmer used the computer. The programmer used the computer. Today. 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 Today means this day. We use this when we want to talk about something that's happening on this day, like part of a schedule. Today's homework. Today's homework. Today's homework. Yesterday. 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 So yesterday means the day before today. So you can use this word when you're talking about like past actions.
yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. Tomorrow. 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 So tomorrow is like the opposite of yesterday. It means the day after today. So we use this when we're talking about our future plans. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Week. 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 So week refers to seven days. That seven day period. So we use week when we want to talk about making plans or our schedules and so on. I'm busy this week. I'm busy this week. I'm busy this week. Year. 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 So a year is 365 days. So we use year when we're talking about points in time, like historical events. One year. One year. One year. Second. 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 So second refers to a very short period of time. So the amount of time that's inside one minute, for example, there are sixty seconds in a minute. There are sixty seconds in a minute. There are sixty seconds in a minute. 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 So minute refers to again a period of time. We learn that there are sixty seconds in a minute, and we can use minutes when we're talking about times of day. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Hour. 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 So an hour refers to one of those twenty-four blocks of time throughout the day. I sleep for eight hours every day. I sleep for eight hours every day. I sleep for eight hours every day. Clock. 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 A clock is an object that we use to understand what time of day it is. We can have analog or digital. Alarm clock. Alarm clock. Alarm clock. A clock. A clock. A clock. So a clock is used after a number from one to twelve to show that it's a specific hour. Let's meet at the station at nine o'clock. Let's meet at the station at nine o'clock. Let's meet at the station at nine o'clock. Calendar. 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 So a calendar is something we use to understand the dates of the year. There are twelve months on a typical calendar. I marked our anniversary on the calendar. I marked our anniversary on the calendar. I marked our anniversary on the calendar. Monday. 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 So Monday is for most people the first day of the work week. I go to work on Monday. I go to work on Monday. I go to work on Monday. Tuesday. 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 Tuesday is for most people the second day of the work week. Tuesday, January first. Tuesday, January first. Tuesday, January first. Wednesday. 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 So Wednesday is the middle day of the week, but 
Keep in mind, this is pronounced Wednesday. There's a D there, but we don't say Wednesday. We say Wednesday. Wednesday the eighteenth. Wednesday the eighteenth. Wednesday the eighteenth. Thursday. 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 So Thursday is the fourth day of the work week, the day that comes before Friday. So most people get a little bit excited for Friday, and thus Thursday is kind of the day when some people start their weekends a little bit early. Thursday, January third. Thursday, January third. Thursday, January third. Friday. 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 So Friday is the last day of the work week, and lots of people get excited about Friday, and they do things on Friday nights with their friends or their coworkers. Are you free this Friday? Are you free this Friday? Are you free this Friday? Saturday. 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 So Saturday is the first day of the weekend. Lots of people choose to do things like their hobbies or maybe take a trip somewhere. It's a day to relax for lots of people. Saturday night. Saturday night. Saturday night. Sunday. 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 So Sunday is the last day of the weekend. Usually, Sunday tends to be a more relaxing day. So we're kind of recharging a little bit and taking it easy. Sunday morning breakfast. Sunday morning breakfast. Sunday morning breakfast. Do. 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 So do is used when we're referring to some kind of activity. We're making something happen. We are taking care of something. Do homework. Do homework. Do homework. Go. 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 So the verb go means to move from one place to another place. We use this when we're traveling, or maybe even when we're talking about some place we would like to go or like to travel to. Go to the park. Go to the park. Go to the park. Hello. 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 Hello is the most basic greeting that you can use. You can use it with your friends, with your family members, with your coworkers. Any time of day is fine. Hello, how have you been? Hello, how have you been? Hello, how have you been? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. So, excuse me is the expression you can use when you bump into somebody or when you need to interrupt somebody who's working on something. It's a nice, like, apology expression to use. Excuse me, how much is this? Excuse me, how much is this? Excuse me, how much is this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So we use "I'm sorry" in cases where we make a mistake. So I did something wrong or I did something bad. I use "I'm sorry" to apologize. I'm sorry. It was a typo. I'm sorry. It was a typo. I'm sorry. It was a typo. Good night. Good night. Good night. So good night is the expression we use at the end of the day when we want to say goodbye to someone or when we want to wish our family members a good night of sleep. Good night, grandma. Good night, grandma. Good night, grandma. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.
So nice to meet you is the expression we use the first time we meet someone. We don't use this like the second or the third time we see someone. Only for the first time. Please come in. Nice to meet you. Please come in. Nice to meet you. Please come in. Nice to meet you. How are you? How are you? How are you? So, how are you is used as a very general greeting. When we see our coworker for the first time, or we see a classmate for the first time, we ask, "How are you?" Meaning, "What's your condition right now?" It's been a long time. How are you? It's been a long time. How are you? It's been a long time. How are you? Yes. 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 So yes is the word we use to agree with something or to show we think something is good or correct. You can use yes、uh, in any of those cases. Yes, this one, please. Yes, this one, please. Yes, this one, please. No. 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 So no is the opposite of yes. We use it when we want to disagree or show that we think something is not good or is maybe not the best option. No, I haven't eaten yet. No, I haven't eaten yet. No, I haven't eaten yet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you is used to express your appreciation for something. You can use this after you receive a gift or someone does something for you. Thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you very much for the invitation. I'm. 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 So I'm is the reduced form of I and am、It、becomes I'm. Make sure to clearly pronounce that m sound, like when you're introducing yourself. I'm John. I'm John. I'm John. Goodbye. 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 So goodbye is one way to say like something at the end of the day. Usually to say bye to someone. Goodbye sounds a little bit more formal than just bye, but you can use it to sound polite. Goodbye. See you again. Goodbye. See you again. Goodbye. See you again. Bad. 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 Okay, so bad is a word that means not good. You can use it to describe something you don't like or that you think is inappropriate. Be careful of bad people. Be careful of bad people. Be careful of bad people. Good. 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 So good is the opposite of bad. You can use it when you want to express that you like something or that you think something is positive. My teacher is a good person. My teacher is a good person. My teacher is a good person. Pretty. 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 So pretty is used to describe someone or something's physical appearance, something that we think is beautiful. I have a pretty girlfriend. I have a pretty girlfriend. I have a pretty girlfriend. Ugly. 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 So ugly is the opposite of pretty. We use this word to describe something that we think is not pleasing or is unpleasant. Ugly face. Ugly face. Ugly face. Easy. 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 So easy is used to talk about something that is not difficult. It's maybe something that's simple to do. Easy exam. Easy exam. 
easy exam. Difficult. 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 So difficult describes something that is hard or something that is challenging to do. Difficult problem. Difficult problem. Difficult problem. Near. 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 Near is used to talk about something that is close to us. It's something that we can go to quickly and easily. I live near the university. I live near the university. I live near the university. Far. 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 So far is the opposite of near. Far means something that is at great distance from something else. There's like a long way to get to something. The station is far from here. The station is far from here. The station is far from here. Small. 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 So small is the opposite of big. We use it to describe things that are little. You can use it for concepts, for objects, or for people. Small mistake. Small mistake. Small mistake. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the Word Bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools.